bend. Okay, I'm oh, gonna have to fix this. Gonna back it up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys for it being later than three o'clock. Uh, we had some major technical issues that uh, we're working on. We have not Ed's phone streaming like we usually do, but instead an iPad that we happen to have just bought recently. And we had to log it in and Google didn't want it to log in, but it didn't want Ed's phone to log in either. So, oh my gosh. Oh, you're getting an ad. I'm getting an ad on the iPad. Oh no. Where is it? It's on the side. Okay, got it. I, I think we're good. Hooray. I didn't know there'd be ads during the live stream. Do you have to watch one before it starts I think maybe? before you start, yeah. Interesting, okay. Sorry, even more technical <laughs> issues, but that's okay, we're here now. And this is gonna be fun. So today we are going to do another fan mail opening session, probably from three to 6 p.m. So from now until about three hours from now, give or take. And we'll try to look at your questions in the chat too, which are going kind of nuts. So Ed, did you turn on slow mode? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I haven't had time to do anything since everything is deciding it doesn't want to work for me today. Yeah, nothing wants to work for Ed today. So we're actually lucky to have this going right now, to be honest. This new iPad is probably going to hit the ground one of this during this thing, which is going to be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't crack the screen. Yeah, let's hope not. Oh my gosh, that's really off center. Yeah, there you go. That'll work. Maybe. Then we won't touch it on the camera I stand. I think if you scoot over... Yeah, I'll that'll that'll be perfect. I'll stand to the left of that. Oh my gosh. All right, you vamp. I'm gonna go grab my sweatshirt. Okay. Well, I guess Ed's gonna ditch us right away too after setting it up. So, uh, like I said, we're gonna do Q and A. We're gonna do some fan mail. I'm sorry it's been so long since we last had a fan mail opening session, but we are excited for it. I brought Patricia, the box slayer, so she's gonna help me out. And Cheyenne, who is hiding behind the box right now, maybe I'll lower this so you can actually see her. She's joining us too, aren't you? Yes, you might get a treat or two if you behave. So we'll see how this goes today. So um, hopefully I'm able to see it. Nope, I can't see any questions right now except for people liking Cheyenne. So I'm just gonna have to start and uh, go for it. And then we'll see when Ed gets back, wherever he went. He's good at that at this facility, by the way. Uh, everyone kind of knows that he's uh, notorious for just disappearing for hours on end. And our manager, Kim, is now walking in the front door. What else can happen during this stream? Oh my gosh. Good thing she has a key to get in. I'm just, just gonna- go lock it and keep her out. Yeah, we'll just lock her out. That'll work. <laughs> Hi, Kim. <laughs> you brought us caribou? Oh my gosh. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. He wanted to come up and visit. Oh table. no, he's gonna give everyone nightmares. Thank you. I tried to get here before you guys started and then I hit all of the lights. Oh, that's here, okay. So. We couldn't start the stream until just now because of technical issues. Yes. So you're here uh, right when we started. It's perfect. Yay. Well, enjoy. Thank, well, thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks for care, but that's so nice of you. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> Kim is our amazing manager here at Sync Discovery and it's her day off. So you were supposed to come in, but thank you. Sweet. See ya. Bye. Awesome. We have caffeine to help us get through this stream. All right. This will be great. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start. This is from Josiah in California. We have, oh, we've got a letter. We've got some art. If you haven't met Randy Jr., um, he check just, out our Twitch channel. Check out the Twitch channel where he made his first appearance, and now he's kind of part of the Twitch stream. Oh, cute! There's a rattlesnake here and Cheyenne for just, from Josiah. Oh my gosh, and there's tons of chocolate in here too. I'm gonna move Randy Jr. over a little bit so you guys can kind of see. Oh my gosh, it's the Litz bars. <gasps> Thank you! Oh, I haven't eaten lunch yet today. This is gonna be perfect. Oh, and you have little clay snakes in here too. These are adorable. Oh, and there's actually a Rex face. Okay, so I'm kind of far away from the iPad because we had to back it up so much since it was so zoomed in. Hopefully, I wonder if we can oh, change that so that I can like hold things up to the camera. Well, don't worry. Oh, we'll... it's still like you're right there. You're Am right I... in the middle of the screen. Yeah, like, but you... I'd like to be able to reach over and get a little bit closer, but I don't know if we can, so that's okay. I'll what still... are you trying to show off? I'm trying to show off some of the clay here. This is Rex wearing a hat. <laughs> that's adorable too. <laughs> Oh, and they said so many goodies. Okay, let's see what the note says. Hi, my name is, oh, Tavia. Okay, so must, maybe the parent's name is on the label. My name is Tavia. I have been watching your channel for a few months. Oh, and I love Cheyenne. Cute. What do you think of Tavia's note? Don't chew on it. Don't, don't chew on it. No, don't chew it. Oh, 
Well, there we go. That'll she really work. likes it. All right, she really likes it. She that means she approves, I think. Okay. Thank you so much for all the goodies. There's even twin snakes. These are your favorites. He's not listening. Okay, Sorry, cool. I'm trying to get everything <laughs> figured out so I can stop thinking. <laughs> That's okay. This. I'll just keep going and have a sip of, okay, of coffee. Oh my gosh. So there have been several fans who have come into town for their first time in Minnesota to check out the zoo and all that, which is amazing. They're making the trip up here. And then since we've mentioned caribou so many times, they've tried it. And if you do, the caramel high rice is an amazing drink. So is the turtle mocha cooler. Try either one of those if you're in town. I would highly recommend them. Okay, oh my gosh, and there's actually something wrapped in bubble wrap that I totally missed from Tavia. Let's see what this is. I don't want to forget anything. Oh man, I'm going to need scissors, I think, not just a knife, because I don't want to break whatever this is. Uh, eh. Okay, let's see if I can squeeze it out. I think it's a something made of clay. Oh, it, oh, oh cute. It's a little alligator uh, figurine. That's adorable, actually. Oh, it's handmade in Peru? That's super cute. I can put that on my desk. Thank you, Tavia. Let's see, I'll put garbage over there and we'll have employees clean up our mess later. Yep. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Haley, I'm don't kill me. Okay. This is from the Robinson family. Oh, up in Duluth, Minnesota, actually. That's really close to here. That's like three hours away. Let's see. Uh, apologies for the long letter. I get excited putting, I got excited putting this care package together. Wanted to show my appreciation. Let's see, I want to make sure I don't read anything I'm not supposed to, but I think I can read. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's the beginning of the letter. Oh, thank you so much for all that you do for bringing joy and fun educational vid videos to so many. I wish both of you all the success and happiness in the world from Caitlin. That's very sweet, Caitlin. I might set this aside so I can, oh, she drew Pikachu. I might set it aside so I can read the whole thing later because I don't want to miss this. So I'm just going to set this over here. So these are from Caitlin. Aw, there is some, oh my gosh, there's Pokemon cards and a bag full of Ghirardelli chocolates. Nice. Oh my gosh. Right. Slow mode is on. Slow mode is on? Slow mode is on. All right, you're welcome. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully. Nice. Oh, it's the, the mint start chocolate too. I love these. I'm gonna open one right now. And there's Ed's favorite snack, one of Ed's favorite snacks in here mm. too. What are these? That's from Tavia. Mm. Two pins! Oh, nice. That's your favorite. Oh, um, she lives those. in Duluth. How did she get those up here? Oh, oh my gosh. Do you like how these have just become us eating candy on camera? It's amazing. I will gladly taste test candies on camera if that's what people want to send, I suppose. There's one more thing in here from Kate, Caitlin, right? I want to. Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay, that was. Second guessing myself for a second there. All right, Caitlin also said this. It's from the Sipsy Wilder. Hmm, I don't know what this would be. This is, whoa. A fanny pack. A fanny pack with alligators on it. Oh my gosh, there's something else in here too. Oh my gosh, another fanny pack. And like a drink holder. Oh my gosh, check these out. So these are from a small business, it looks like, called The Sipsy Wilder, and live your one wild life, I love it. These are super cute. Caitlin, I love these. And actually, we're leaving for, we're leaving for Costa Rica this Sunday, guys. We're yes. so excited, we're taking a vacation. The first time in over a year or so, because California was a work trip, and we're very excited. We can bring this one. Oh my gosh, are you excited? Oh, you like it? Don't, don't you on this one. Thank you so much, Caitlin. This will definitely come in handy for Costa Rica next week. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are gonna go right back in the box from her. Let's open this Ugh, guy. This one's really heavy. It's as good think? as it's gonna be. <laughs> trying to figure out the... Ed, open this. Has clues for a feather game. There's a feather game in here. A feather game? Mm -hmm. Feather challenge? Ooh, okay. Mine's from Olivia in Indiana, who is the one who sent you the unicorn onesie. Oh, and there's really? a note on here that says, Ed, did you enjoy your unicorn onesie? I mean, it was alright. Oh, nice. But now you have a unicorn hat. There we go. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Olivia, you spoil us with so many unicorn things. I never thought I would ha own unicorn Anything. Is that kind of That fit? might not fit my that head. Might not my fit. head is too big for this. <laughs> yeah, it is. 
Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh, this one's really wrapped up. Don't know how to get this out. I just... Nice! Yeah. It works! Yeah. It fits, Olivia! There's so many bags in here. What there. if I can reuse some of these? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna reuse Hi, these. Hi, <laughs> She's all excited. Oh, is she even on? Yeah, she is. Okay. Step up. You come here. What do you think of Dad's new hat? Step up. Good girl. Hi, Stinky. Oh, what do Step you up. think? Go on over. Oh, hi. What is this? <laughs> Whoa. Is that confusing? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's so much in here. And it's wrapped even more. Okay, you're going to have to unwrap that, I think. All right, I can do that. It's wrapped in so many bags. We're going to, we can reuse can it. I just so. smash it? I don't think you're supposed to smash it. I'm pretty okay. sure they wrapped it a bunch so that it protected it. Or just to uh, mess with you. Aloha be be beaches. <laughs> these are great. Aw, these are mugs that for like um coffee drinks in the morning. This will be awesome. And I just saw it was the side of this. It's oh, a it's unicorn a snow globe. <laughs> unicorn snow globe. Oh my gosh. I have a super worm and a sucker for us to try at some nice. point. Oh, Olivia. That's awesome. Okay, I'll set that there. Keep this together. Holy cow. There's so many things in here. They've sent us so many packages. They They've sent us a lot here. And we've been Randy's able to here. use like everything. You have a Ooh. snow globe now. This is the bird treat. Oh, cool. Okay. Do you think we can explain why Randy has his name on a live stream? Mm. Or should we not play let's, it safe? Let's not. Okay. Until we're done. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Then we we will someday explain to you why Randy uh, is, named Randy. is named Randy. And whoever comes into our shop, we tell you in person, but we don't want it online quite yet. So if you know, you could probably add it to the chat because no one's going to be able to see the chat after the streams. Um, but we can't tell you in a video yet. We're going to wait till all the construction is done. Look at this. Here's a toy from Olivia. Oh. Oh. What is that? Here, I'll, I'll hang it here. It's a treat. <laughs> All right, Emily, feather test. Feather They're test. They're all from the same, uh, same, same bird. Same bird. This looks like a mini macaw. I'm going to guess an illager's macaw. Nope. No? Is it a mini macaw? The species is from South America. Okay. The region uh, I am from is the brand named after? Has a brand a, named after it, sorry. Is it a Hans macaw? It's a conure. It's a conure? Next one, next one is Queen uh, of, no. uh, loudest uh, conure in the world. Patagonian conure. Did she get it? Yep, she got it. Yes! I forgot how huge Patagonian conures are. And they have the red, which aren't in these feathers, which threw me off. So that's cool. Those are some really pretty Patagonian conure uh, feathers. This is from Jaden, by the way. Thank you, Jaden, for the feather test. That was, that was a really good one. Ooh. Shane got treats, finally. Shane got treats! Oh, she's enjoying her log oh. treat right now. I guess I'll move that down so you guys can see her. Do you want oh. I thought these were actual fries for people, but these are birdie oh. fries. Mmm. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, she likes that. Well, in a little bit, I'll have you try a bird french fry from Olivia. How about oh, that? Weird. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to have to have a war. Oh, nice. Yep, we're having a war at some point. That's awesome. I can't believe this. What is it? Oh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. This is from Jaden, right? Yes, this is all from Jaden. Big Island Blend Coffee. You guys know everything we love so much, and you spoil us so much. And a bunch of chocolate. Which one should we try, chat? The 88% cocoa, 60%, the 54% with mixed berry, or the 72%? Huh, all right, comment which one we should try. We should have brought a coffee maker so I could have made coffee. This is a huge bag, Jaden. Thank you. I'm going to put this over on my side. Right there. 54, 72, 80, 80. Don't make us try the 80. That's really, Looks really like high. Looks like most of people are going with 80, 80. Gosh. Was there an 80? An 88. 88. That's so dark. I guess dark. we're going to try. Well, okay. Oof. We can have a water balloon fight, too. Nice. There's so many. Okay, so it looks like the majority wants us to do one of these two. Mixed berry or the 88% of mixed yeah. berry. Let's so, do that one. I will enjoy that one for sure. Heads will be 88. Mixed berry will be tails. Oh, you should flip it, put it on your hand, and hold it in front of okay. the camera. Yeah. Okay, so you're going up. Okay, what was it? Heads, 88? Ed, heads is 88. So I'm hoping for tails. You're hoping for tails. Come on, I tails. I don't know how I get... Tails, ah. tails, tails. Oh, it's heads. <gasps> Oh, okay, we're gonna try some really dark <laughs> cocoa, dark chocolate. All right, let's try it. 
Olivia, you sent so many goodies. I can't believe there's so much in here. There's games for us. Thank you, Gingerbread Hearts and Stars. I'm gonna try to keep this all together so I remember it all came from you. And this is, this is very, oh, there's the letter. I was looking for that. Perfect. Oh, I love you and my, me and my mom and dad love your videos from Olivia and Henry, H Harry and Ashley. Aw, uh, for Rex Fisher. Thank you so much, guys. You're such a generous family. Oh my gosh, we leave this together. Yeah, you go. don't have to send that much. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh, okay. 88%. 88%. Mmm, dirt tasting. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mmm, darkness. I should have brought it. Oh, I have a drink. Aha! Kim brought you a drink. Kim brought me a drink. Thank you, Kim. Oh, oh. I like dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. That might be a little too mm. dark for me. You like that dark of dark chocolate? Mm -hmm. Well, perfect. You can have the, the, the rest of bar. the bar. The rest of the bar. Oh. Yeah, I like dark chocolate, and I didn't realize there was a limit to the percentage of cacao. I make a hundred percent. I know, and I've tried that because some awesome people have sent that before, and that's when I realized there is a limit to my my tolerance of dark chocolate <laughs> level. Oh. Okay. Oh. Thank you, though. Rex got a gift in this one. Rex got a gift? Yeah. Oh, who's this from? This is from Abby. Aw. Uh, Six-year-old from Florida. Oh, hi, Abby. Hopefully you're able to see this at some point. Of my snake, Jojo. That's cool. Abby has a Woma. She has a Woma at python? At six. Oh, I wish I had a Woma gosh. python at six. Plus, we can't show the fake picture because Abby's in all the pictures, too, but that's... Aww. Rex got a mini Jolly Ball. A baby Jolly Ball. She'll we... destroy that. How would this work? Yeah, she would love this, I bet. Because she could fit the whole thing in her mouth. We just okay. gave Rex a new toy two days ago, yep. and you can see it on the stream. It's like an orange and blue ball, and she immediately went for it. However, this one, after this stream is over with, jump over to Twitch, find it. I will throw this in right after this stream is over, like five minutes after this stream is over. Okay. So I'll set it over here. Perfect. We can myself. do that after the stream. Yep. We'll jump over to Twitch. Cheyenne, let's go with power treats. <gasps> oh my Cheyenne's gosh. Cheyenne's favorite treats. This is your favorite. Should I open it? I sure. think the other bag is pretty much empty. Yeah, I think it is. They're sealable too. Yeah, perfect timing. Wow. Abby! Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if she'll do her trick for this. So if Cheyenne really wants something, she will sneeze. She goes, achoo, and she like brings her head down. So let's see if she does it. Do you want this? Go, achoo. Bless you! Good girl! I don't know if you could hear it on camera, but uh, she did sneeze there. Good girl! You love Harrison's. Now, that's like her favorite thing in the world. And it's actually not too unhealthy of a treat either. So we like to really give those out. Thank you very much for that. Cheyenne, thanks. See, here. Should we do one more? One more sneeze? I wish you knew more tricks. Here. Ready, Cheyenne? Do you want it? You know what to do. Bless you. Bless you. She's like, I've gotten so many treats already on yeah. this stream. I don't need to do anything <laughs> for it. Bless you. Good girl. <laughs> uh... Abby also sent you this. Aw, an adorable mug. Cute. I can use that for the coffee. There you go. Aw, thank you, Abby. That's a nice big mug, that too. Is. I can drink You'll so only need coffee. four cups of coffee yeah. instead of eight. Right, exactly. Oh my gosh, that's great. I'm going to set that right here so everybody can see it. Cool, thank you. This is from Ella in... Oh, this is overseas. I'm like, I don't recognize that state's abbreviation. Uh, I don't know what country this is from. AE? I don't know. It's from, it's from overseas, I feel. Oh, and there's Cheyenne treats in here. Oh, okay, so from Ella. Oh my gosh. Arab, they... United Arab, Emir, Arab Emirates. Arab Emirates, okay. Oh, neat. Wow, I don't think we've ever gotten anything from there before. Anything. Thank okay. you, Emma. All right, or Ella, sorry. Um, Ella sent almond slices for nice. Cheyenne, which I might keep sealed for now so they don't go stale, but there's a whole bag of walnuts in here too. Do you want one of these? You're gonna have so many snacks today, I feel. Do you want it? Gotta sneeze. A chew. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> she really wanted that. Snack. So somebody oh. just asked if we already have plans for the greenhouse. Oh, greenhouse plans. Um. Yeah, what, what are well, our plans? Currently, the plans are on hold. <laughs> because you can't see it, but behind where the camera is, our front entryway, it's completely gone. 
Yep. Because the city changed their mind on the roof that we put on that area and they said it's a no-go and we had to replace it again. And this time they're making us replace all of the wooden supports that held it up. So there is no structure outside of the ramp and that rock snake discovery pillar from Universal Rocks. That's that's it. It's all ground down. There's caution tape everywhere. So because of this unexpected project, um, we're putting future plans for the greenhouse on hold until that's done. Yeah. And, yeah. and just finishing the zoo, because we still have five enclosures without glass due to manufacturing issues. Yep, exactly. Ooh, and there's snacks for me too from Ella. Thank you. I'll definitely have to try that out. Let's see if there's any questions from Ella. Um, oh, huh, here's an interesting one. Do you ever plan on getting beauty rat snakes? How old is this? This is... <laughs> April of this year, so we had them at that point, but we didn't yeah. really talk about them. Now we have two sets of beauty snakes. Yeah, now we have the um, Taiwanese yep. beauty snakes as well. So yes, we are loving beauty snakes. When is Rex's birthday? You know, we actually don't know. Since she's originally wild caught from her previous owner, we just kind of celebrate it in March of every year. So she is 20, or sorry, 34 right now. 34 right yes. now, uh, and then, yeah, well, her tag was off a year, so it's, it says she's 35, which just means we don't have to buy her a new tag next year. Perfect. So she's 34 right now, um, but yeah, we just celebrated in March. Um, do any snakes, amphibians, or reptiles eat grasshoppers? That's a good one too, Ella. So there are actually a lot of reptiles that'll eat grasshoppers. Sometimes grasshoppers get too big for them to handle, but the smaller ones, they definitely like to eat. Thank you for all the gifts, Ella. That was really nice of you. So, Cheyenne's loving it. One quick uh, thing here. Somebody has a uh, shadow warrior asked, how are the animals adjusting to the zoo? They're all loving it, honestly. And loving each other, apparently. <laughs> so we've been seeing, which I wasn't actually expecting this, we're seeing a lot of breeding behavior yep. in the rept with the reptiles in the zoo. As green tree pythons have paired up a couple times, the red Aki monitors are, are constantly not, paired up. They're not shy at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think our tricolor hognose, our female in the zoo, is going through a prelay shed right now because the male was figure eighting trying to breed with himself. So he put we put him with her and they locked up and now I think she's gravid. The egg eating snakes yep. Have, have been both laying laid eggs. They both laid eggs in the last month. So yeah, there's yeah, a lot of they're really liking it. Apparently breeding season isn't over. So we're not <laughs> making like videos to announce that quite yet because we don't want to uh, jinx anything basically, but yeah, we're pretty excited. Yep. Uh, Isabella and Kim sent you these. Oh! Sent us these. They specifically no. said share. To no, you, share they bed. didn't. I don't yes, think they, they did. This is the raspberry one. They also sent this, oh my which gosh. is beautiful. Wow. So Kim and who? Kim and Isabel. Isabella. Wow. And they sent a bunch of Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of Pokemon Kim cards. Kim and Isabella, this is really cute. You know, this has been up here for a long time, so I might swap this out. We're trying to keep the art up here behind our checkout counter. Like, uh, we're trying to keep it fresh, like with a bunch of stuff, because people drop off so much art. We're trying to include as much of it as we can. Um, but yeah, thank you for this. Thank you for the art. That is yes. really pretty. Thank you. Wow, it's a little hog nose snake too. Yeah, it's really cool looking. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is from Caitlin in uh, Portland, Oregon, or from oh, Portland, that's Oregon. A hard question, Emily. Who do you love more, Rex or Cheyenne? Oh, I gotta say Cheyenne. I got she's it. Right Cheyenne. There. Yeah, she's right here, Cheyenne. <laughs> but no, Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Yes, absolutely. No, it probably is Cheyenne. <laughs> We've known each to other. Cuddle with Cheyenne. Well. Yeah, I do get to cuddle with Cheyenne. I can't really cuddle with Rex. Rex just wants to eat me sometimes. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> all the time. All right, so from Caitlin, whoa! It's oh, a platform cool. nine and three quarters mug. And there's another one in here too. Did she send us two? Did that hurt? It did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, I don't think we can show that, that one. That has actually. a swear word on it. That's another mug. Nice. <laughs> King I like of it. everything. King of blanking. Everything. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. We can't show that. I'll just, I'll just censor one word and you can see it. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm glad it was covered in bubble wrap so we could take that off camera in time. Oh my gosh. Hello from far off places. I love your channel and every video is fascinating. Thank you for educating and I'm looking forward to your grand op oh, grand opening. Grand opening was a while ago now. This was August of 2020. Right. How did we miss this one? I don't know. I'm so sorry it took us so long to open this, but thankfully chocolate we lasts a long time. And there's so many in we here. We still have a giant mound of 
fan mail in our living room. That's why we're doing this today. Yes, we're trying to get caught up with all the mail because I feel bad people having to wait so long. Thank you, wow. Caitlin, for the chocolate and the mugs. They are amazing. And I even love the one we had to take off camera. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to set this down here. Okay. Thank Allison you. Allison and Emily, spelled L-E-E, -E, sent us some flowers Ooh. and a cave. Oh, nice. They said it was for the hermit crabs, but they couldn't fit. Oh, really? <laughs> These are big hermit crabs. Yeah, they are. And some more flowers. Aww. Some more flowers and some name tags. Cute. We can totally use yeah. all of these. Aww. We go through a lot of these flowers because after after a while they kind of get gross, you know, yes. from snakes pooping on them. So yeah, cool. we can always use these. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Allison and Emily. Thank you. This is a package from I cannot tell. Oh, Slovenia. Wow, this is from a while or ways away. It's from Jane, and it's super wrapped in tape. So <laughs> this might be Yay. a Patricia. <laughs> Job. We'll see. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go on the other side and okay. grab more packages conveniently at the same time you're doing that. Maybe I'll saw at it. Oh, not like that. Cheyenne, watch your pray for your life. Yes, pray for your life, Cheyenne. Oh man. <laughs> Just, I mean, if you're gonna whack at it, there you go. That did it. There. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that'll open it up. Sweet. Now we just tear it open like the jaws of life. Eh. Oh, and I don't think I cut any of the. Oh, I did. I did cut one of the wrappers. Oh, that's right. Well, that's the one that we'll try. Okay, I'll be right back again. There's a package that we've been needing to open on my desk. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, so the one that I opened with the with the machete looks like it's raspberry white chocolate type. It is a raspberry white chocolate bar. So I will gladly try this. I am okay with this one getting torn open. Let's see if I can open it anyway. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, you can't have this chain. You can have more treats in here. Here, try this. No, you're probably getting full already. Wouldn't surprise me anyway. Woo, it's like a cracker inside of this. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Dorina? D I'm just gonna go with Dorina chocolate. It looks great. Oh my gosh, man, it's delicious. Oh. Ed doesn't need to know about this one. Yeah. This one's going right over here. He'll never know it existed. We're good. Holy cow. What? Nothing. I just was mentioning that there's a lot of cool chocolate in here. What other chocolate is there? Like this. What, what one. else is in there? Huh? Well, let's, let's see. There's, <laughs> there's rum chocolate. There you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Jane stuck this full of chocolates from Slovenia. Oh my gosh, look at all of these. Are they known for chocolates over there that have biscuits inside of them? Because that's hey. what all of these have. These are going to be amazing. Oh my god, I don't want to open all of them though because I don't want them to go bad. So I might just stick with the one Ed doesn't know about and uh, we'll go with that. Look at you take. Oh, oh sour mine. gummy worms in here too? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if I can find a question. Oh, here's her, her puppy and her ball python. Let's see. Oh, I'm Barbara, a 32-year-old woman absolutely hooked on your channel. Greetings from Slovenia. I sent you a goodie bag from my country. The gummy worms are for Ed, and if he's on camera, then he can pick out one chocolate. Otherwise, Emily, what you get the lot. What was the chocolate lot. you ate? Oh, it was this one, raspberry white chocolate with a biscuit in it. Don't take that one! <laughs> that one was really good! Okay, fine, then I get the rest. I get the dark chocolate one. This is one of the chewiest gummy worms I've ever had. Holy cow. Yeah. So this oh. box. You just gave that to me to keep me quiet for a while, I think. Kind of. <laughs> was sent to us by, is Link a Patreon? Link, yeah. Yes. He visited us the entire time we were open on grand opening weekend. We hung out, we chatted a lot. He asked me specifically about this box if I had opened it yet. Mm. And I said no, because Emily wouldn't let me because we had to do it on. And oh, he, that's right. Then he gave me permission to, mm -hmm. but I still didn't because I knew we were going to. And he kind of told me what was in there, so I'll give you that hat. Okay. He sent over an awesome. Oh my gosh. Badoof hat. Badoof hat. That is that amazing. Is awesome. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Link. That's the best hat I think I've ever seen, other than this uh, he unicorn hat. He also sent an Ekans and Arbok. Cool! 
cool. Uh, pins. Pins. Nice. Thank you so much, Link. That's great, Link. That's an awesome, <laughs> awesome hat. That is. You're going to have to wear that to like Tinley or something. Yes. Yes, I will. I'll just wear this everywhere. Let's see. So Barbara, who sent all these amazing chocolates, has a question about her budgie. I adopted a three-year-old budgie. She eats and uh, complains and shakes, but won't go out of her cage. I have her in a secure room. Uh, cage always opens. And any tips to get her to fly out? Um, it's really just time for budgies. They can be nervous birds because they're prey to a lot of animals, especially if they're not in a flock. So your budgie is probably just feeling a little bit uh, exposed right now and still getting used to her surroundings. I don't know when you sent this, but hopefully by now she's feeling uh, um, happy enough uh, and, and safe enough to come out of her cage, but really just takes time and a lot of bribery with treats to get them to come out too. Food goes a long way with animals. Thank you so much, Barbara, for all of these treats. I, these are going to make a mess if I spill them because there's a bunch of small ones. But I love these buenas, so I am going to open this one up and eat this guy. So here's a gift from Lillian. Lillian, I won't say last names, got to remember that. Mm -hmm. But Lillian, and I'm guessing Mom Rebecca. Okay. Eh. No. Oh, no, is that from Amazon? Oh, yeah. Easy to open. Okay. We got... Oh, Cheyenne got treats. Oh, nice. Gourmet baked pretzel treats. Nice, she likes those. I just mixed them in with her food job the other day. Oh, thank you. Cheyenne will love these. Do you, do you want to try? Oh, that's right. You were going to try um, a the fish French fry. fry. And then we can try a pretzel. How about that? You want to try that? And she's never tried this before. Yeah, would you want to find a couple questions while I struggle to get these out? Oh, Maybe. Link says the pins are for you. <gasps> I get the steak pins. <laughs> Thanks, Link. Oh, cool. It's Ekans and Arbuck in like the um, pixely, pixel form. Okay, let's see if I can, I can even get these out of the bag. Eh, eh. There you go. What's Maybe. your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney yeah. movie? Oh. Or princess. Or princess movie. Yeah. Or just Disney princess. Oh, oh, I see. Um, so specifically Disney princess movie. Yeah. I was gonna say Road to El Dorado is a really great movie. But, if it has to be a princess, uh, man, that's a tough one. I don't know which one I would pick. Cinderella? No, Beauty and the Beast. Why is that? Cusco. That's oh. Disney, right? Cusco? <laughs> oh, yeah, that is Disney, that's true. He's, he's a group. princess. Uh, yeah, you would think he's a princess. Him or Kronk. Two. Wow, okay, she does like the fish fry. Mmm. Okay, yeah, Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Yes. And Yzma, oh my gosh. Okay, oh, yeah, I changed never my mind. Yzma's that, movie. Okay, Princess. Emperor's New Groove is my favorite Disney movie. That is a Disney <laughs> movie, right? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. Okay, I'm going to open this guy. Oh, I guess. See, I'm going to see if I can find any questions. Fan uh, art. Yeah, I mean, I see a couple of requests for can I send fan art? You are more than welcome to send fan art. Fan art. And we will try to like hang it back here, even if it's not in a video, so people get to see it. Uh, it's kind of up to you if you want to send to our PO box or if you want to send straight to our facility here. But you could just Google Snake Discovery in Minnesota, and the address should pop right up. And you can just ship it straight here if you want. Who's Mike? Greetings, <laughs> Emily and Mike. <laughs> I don't know. I've been a I fan mean, of your channel for a while. <laughs> especially Mike. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Unless that's my that's my secret boyfriend that you weren't supposed to find out about. Ah, uh, he's the one you do the other channel with. Yes, exactly. This got sent. This got sent to the wrong PO box. Uh huh. It did. <laughs> well, this is from a Mike, so this is perfect. Ah, uh, so is... Mike Evans. Okay, I gotta find who Mike Evans is from New York. <laughs> Don't say last names. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> that's There's a very probably common a lot last of... name. Yeah. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Mike. Oh, dear Snake Discovery, it's chocolates to be shared. I mean, I could cross that part out and so we don't have to share it, but look at all these. Cool. These are rattlesnake gummies and there's a huge Kit Kat bar. Oh my gosh. And Ghirardelli salted caramel. Yes, please. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's a lot of chocolate. There's so much chocolate in here. Oh, no way. What is this? Peppermint dark chocolate. That's, that sounds amazing. I don't know if I've ever tried peppermint dark chocolate before. Mike, thank you. Which one should I try? I'm going to try the peppermint dark chocolate. That sounds delicious. And uh, I am intrigued. Let's see what this is. There actually isn't a note in here at all. It's just the, uh, it just says from Mike and chocolates to be shared. And yep, that was just packaging. So let's give this a shot. Here, 
Do you want to try a bite? Sure. Where's right. this one? Uh, peppermint chocolate. Peppermint dark chocolate. Dang it. Is it oh. <laughs> tough chocolate? Mm hmm Yeah, it is. Ooh. That is really good, though. Mm hmm Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, it's like, it's verified, too. So oh, sweet. Thank you, Mike, for all the chocolate. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Okay. It's like a, those after dinner mints. Yeah, the after eights. Yeah. Oh, the Andes. It does taste just like those. Oh my gosh. I have dinner tonight, all <laughs> rubber banded together. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Mike. And I'm going to put this over here. Okay. I might grab a couple more packages. Here, of these. Oh, okay. Is this the one to, oh, these are just all packages. Okay. Yeah. So Betty Adams sent us a couple of books they oh. published. She's uh, the one that has been, we've been emailing about um, Wings of Fire. Oh, really? Yeah, she's the one who scheduled that uh, interview oh, cool. with the people who are making the uh, series out of it. She said that the blue one is a comedy. Really? Dying Embers? Okay. Blue one, oh no, pink one is a comedy, blue one is a tragedy. Oh, okay, so it depends on what kind of mood I want to be in. Humans are weird and dying embers. Oh, and these are written by Betty Adams. Yeah. Wow. All right. I will cool. gladly read these. I could bring one on the uh, flight, actually. Yeah, there we go. That'll you know, work. Long ride, long wow, flight for Betty, that. that was really nice yeah, of you. Thank you, Betty. That's crazy because we were just emailing you like yesterday, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so there's a chance that I'm, we might be able to talk to to E.T. Sutherland, the author of Wings of Fire. It'd be so cool to talk to her, so that's kind of in the works, and we'll see if it works out. Okay, somebody just asked, Emily, who do you love more, Cheyenne or Ed? <laughs> Cheyenne, obviously. No, that's, <laughs> there's no question there. I'm only staying in the house because I do I cook for Emily. That's yeah, the you only cook, I'm there. and you're the IT guy, so yeah. that's why you can stay around. Okay, so this is from, this is a really old package, I remember this, from, let's see if I can even read it. <laughs> who do you love more, Ed or Mike? <laughs> Mike. <laughs> I don't know who you are, Mike, but you sound like a pretty decent guy. This is from, I can't even read the name. Oh, there we go, Aubrey from Oregon. And Aubrey sent an entire Holy moly. deck of Pokemon cards. Stop sending us Pokemon cards, you guys are too nice. I will love this and cherish it forever, and I don't know if I can open it, but thank you. And there's chocolates in here, <gasps> and a Groudon card. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's right on front. Okay, let's see. I'll read the note here. But thank you, Aubrey. Let's see. Hi, my name is Aubrey. I'm 19, probably 21 at this point. This is a really old package because we were debating whether to open these on camera or not, and then we figured it might take too long. So we're going to excitedly open them after this stream. <laughs> uh, I have a snake named Anarchy, a bearded dragon, uh, a snake named Anarchy, a bearded dragon named Kush, and two guinea pigs named Sugar and Hybrid. They are super chunky. They, I'm happy to donate these items. I hope you enjoy. I love your videos. Thanks, Aubrey. Thank you, Aubrey, for these gifts. These are really nice of you to send. There's chocolate and Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Very excited to open these. Oh, you're going after your toy? There's treats in here. If you dig down there, oh, okay, I see how it is. So, Yana from Washington sent you a bunch of chocolate. Oh my gosh. Is that white chocolate? Uh, oh, it's caramel. Co yes. And coffee. Coffee, coffee, oh. coffee, coffee, and caramel. And then coffee. Oh Dunkin my gosh. Donuts. Oh, caramel coffee cake. Caramel coffee cake coffee? There you go. Try saying that five times fast. Wow. There's more chocolate. Who is this from? Yana from Washington. Yana. Thank you, Yana. I'm going to enjoy all of these. And I've never tried, uh, have I, I think I've tried a basic roast from Dunkin' Donuts and it was great, but I've never tried something fancy like the caramel, uh, caramel coffee cake. Sweet. All coffee's the same, it's all gross. <laughs> More for me. More for me. I'll let you Thank have it you, all. Yana. Oh my gosh, look at all this chocolate. It smells amazing too. And I can't smell, so that's saying something. <laughs> Oh, nice. See if I can find. Will you show us a video about your daily routine at the facility from Jackie? Oh, um, that is a good question. You know, it'd be tough to do a video of our daily routine because every day is different. So we could try to incorporate some of the shenanigans of what goes on. I think we're going to do something like that. Um, but I don't know if we'd be able to feasibly do a day or our daily routine just because it varies throughout the week. 
but we'll try to incorporate some of the care that goes into the animals into our videos. It's a good question. Oh, I see Bucky's in here. Okay, I'm gonna save that. Taylor sent us a tortoise. Oh, that's cute. And some Lindor truffles. Nice. Oh, best flavor. And a notepad. And a cute from Taylor. From Taylor. Oh, thanks, Taylor. These are super cute. Here, Sam. Do you like the tortoise? Get the tortoise. Get the tortoise. Don't take his eye out, please. Get the tortoise. Get the tortoise. Not, not the eye. There. Here. He can ride on your back. Yeah. Tortoise for she. <laughs> she didn't approve of that. Okay. He can sit on the coffee mug. How about that? Oh, Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. Put these pins over here. This is awesome. Okay. So this, I'm gonna open this one right away because I saw something from Bucky is the world's best gas station in here. This is from the Deach family in Texas. That's probably, okay, from Texas, that makes, yeah, sense. that makes sense. That's where Bucky's is. Oh my goodness. I just realized my parents were supposed to ship us up some Bucky's that I bought when I was on vacation. And they never shipped it? They never shipped it. I forgot to give them the address, but they should know the address. So they know how to ship point. it. They kept it all for themselves. They probably did. <sighs> Your parents, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from the Deach family. Hello from Texas. I've included some goodies for you, both from Bucky's. I will request that you try the ghost pepper jerky on camera. It should be spicy. Is that okay? Ed's trying that. I'm not. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm a big baby when it comes to spicy things. So I'll try hot things on camera. All right, my brother and I. Never mind. Just, never mind. Keep going. He will try hot things on camera. Absolutely, like one chip chick challenge. I want you to try that. We have that. We have one. We're waiting. Oh, give it. A... It smells good. It's gonna. I bet it's gonna build. Yeah, it smells, oh, actually it smells good and spicy at the same time. Uh, so much fun to try to identify snakes and geckos. Most recently, we found an eastern yellow-bellied racer close to my college dorm. She was about four to five feet long and named her Margaret. We're hoping to make a trip to your family this summer. We can't wait to see all the celebrities and witness how awesome it looks after watching the process of putting it together. Aw, from Carolyn and Adam. There we go. Thank you, Carolyn and Adam. Here, do you want to wear this for a little bit? You can wear the unicorn hat. <laughs> no! There. Beautiful. Yeah. That's not going to last long. Okay, well, there it goes. It's there. kind of spicy. It's not too bad. It's not that bad? No. Ah, uh, challenge to get Ed to try spicier oh, things. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I don't need to ruin myself on camera. You will try it, though. So Carolyn and Adam said, ooh, cappuccino meringue pies and praline pecans. Pecans. I don't know, but I've never tried either of these before. Have you tried Ooh, these nice. cookies? No. Oh, we're gonna have to get oh, these. Oh, my grand, my mom got those for my grandpa though. Oh really? Yeah. They'll seem really like good. Those. Should we try them? Sure. And there's also one of the inside outie. Uh, um, um, octopi, octopuses, octopus. Octopi. This is not octopi, plural. It's not octopi anymore. Nope, nope. That's what I learned. I'll keep it on that face. Uh, Let's well, try snake the snake discovery colors too. Oh my gosh, it is snake discovery colors. And I like the happy one. Okay, we'll keep it on happy face. Wow. Oh, it's so dusty. Oh, it's like a dehydrated marsh marshmallow. Oh, it went under the... Oh, five second warning. It's only where we keep our rodents yeah. heavy, so... Mm, it's fine. <laughs> That's really good. Oh. Isn't it? It's like a, a Lucky Charms yeah. marshmallow. That's, oh, and I just t tasted the cappuccino, too. Oh, that's the flavor I'm Yeah. Getting. Wow, these are delicious. Thank you, Carolyn and Adam. That's really nice of you. I'm going to set that right there and eat the rest of those later. Let's see. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, that's kind of funny because uh, I opened this box, so I wanted to see who it was from. Nori from Florida, the person who breeds the velvet spiders. Yeah. She sent up. A Bucky shirt. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's a Bucky shirt for Ed, too. Nice. nice. Thank you you got, have a Bucky's you shirt. You must have got a Bucky shirt. And I got Nori. Oh my gosh. Just loving Bucky's. Yes. Oh. And it's a small too that's gonna fit. Oh, Bucky's shirt. Bucky's nice. shirt. Thank you, Nori. Nori. It's even fitted. Oh. Oh. Fever nuggets. Oh my gosh. If you. Oh, nice. What is that? I think it's a headband. Oh my gosh. It can be a Bucky's warrior. That's perfect with your Bidoof head. <laughs> I might have to change into this uh, shortly so that I can wear this for the rest of the stream. If you guys haven't heard of Bucky's... <laughs> and a Bucky's mug. And a Bucky's mug. Wow. It Nori. Is, Nori, you went all out. This is the best gas station chain 
It's only in Texas and Georgia now. So we need them up here. And uh, Ooh, Kentucky. And Kentucky. And what is snack that? rings. Snack rings? What kind Bucky of? snack rings. Oh, they look like this. barbecue. Ooh. Yeah, let's try that. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna... Yeah, they smell like barbecue. Okay, you try it. I'm gonna right. change it to this. I'll try it. Okay. I'm not on frame, right? Uh, I believe not. Okay. They're good. Sweet barbecue flavor. This is like a thick shirt, too. Is it? Yeah. She also oh. sent us a rubber band Yoshi. What? A rubber band? Like, like the rubber band bracelets. Oh, I thought that was crocheted, but it's all rubber bands. Oh That's my gosh. That's awesome. Did you make this, Nori? I didn't read the entire thing because I wanted to get to the Bucky's merch. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, no, he doesn't stand up. It's fits ah! perfectly, too, actually. This is, this is great. I will read the note now and see. It's all rubber bands. That's insane. Oh my gosh, okay. You can sit here. You can chill next to Randy Jr. There we go. That's awesome. So many Bucky's goodies. I can't wait to use this. Oh my gosh, this might have to stay on my desk so I can like drink water. <laughs> yeah, we do need to start drinking more water. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's see if I can open this. This is a package from Courtney in Hawaii. Oh my gosh. Okay, Courtney in Hawaii. You're reading the letter from Lori? Yep. Okay, let's see if I can open this. It's one of these hard to open boxes and it's also covered in tape. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Oh my gosh. Wow, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of gummies in here. Whoa, gummy bears. Oh, it's like honey. It's uh, Lee, Lee Hing gummy bears. Oh, what are all of these? Oh, yep. there's sour apples herself. and strawberry sour belts. Is Hawaii known? Oh, a Hawaiian tradition. I wonder if Hawaii is known for gummies. Let's see. Got Bucky shot glasses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, we need like the whole. We're gonna soon have the whole Bucky's store. Yeah, we could just start a Bucky's here. Yeah, we could. No, we keep it all. I don't think I'd be able to part with anything. All right, so Courtney, Courtney, all uh, right. Oh, from Harlow, okay. Yeah, sometimes the address on the box is a little different than the who, who it actually sent it. So Harlow sent this, my, my apologies. I drew Inky, your bl black-headed python. I love your videos and plan on getting my own snake. Fun fact, there's no snakes in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, Harlow, that's a great drawing of Inky. You even got the fading of her colors, that is, that's really good. Let's see, we can hang this right up here. There we go. Now everyone who comes into the store can see your drawing of Inky. That's super cute. And there's so many of these to try. Okay, um, we should try the strawberry sour belts, I think. Thanks again, Nori. Yes, thank you, Nori. It fits perfectly. I don't, I don't have scissors, though. Oh, never mind, got it. Got it, I don't need it. Yeah. Sour belts from Hawaii? That looks like it's peppery. Hmm. Yeah, it does look like there's pepper on it. It's very chewy. And it's... That's pretty good. Very chewy, but full of flavor. Hmm. Nice. Cool. Thank you for yeah. the gummies. I've never heard of this brand before, but those are delicious. Mm -hmm. And there's also gummy bears and sour apples. Nice. Awesome. All right. Oh, you have to chew that enough though before you swallow. Just, Otherwise, you're gonna choke. I'll just take all of these. Okay. <laughs> you're claiming all the gummies, huh? Yep. Okay. All right. <gasps> okay. Uh, can I grab another box? What's you? your favorite dinosaur? Favorite dinosaur? Yeah. Oh man. What was the one that they connected to birds? I'm drawing a blank. I had the oh. Thank you. <laughs> had the feathers like the dinosaur with the first feathers. Somebody know what that one is? I would throw this comments. Heavy, I can't so. think of what that one is called. But yeah, they, they found feathers like in the wings of a. Isn't that a raptor? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I'm going to open this cool triangular prism. Archaeo. Uh, Archaeopteryx? Yep, that's, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Yep, Archaeopteryx. Uh, I can never remember what it's called. But yeah, those I find really fascinating, even though it's been a long time since I've researched them. I just realized. Okay, this is from Sinto. Is that a company name? Everyone loves the Slinky. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> is that? Go, Slinky, go. 
Is that Bruce Almighty? No, that's uh. What is Ace this? Ventura. And, oh, that's right. When he goes up the temple. Yeah, when he's and going it... down the temple steps. <laughs> go, Slinky, go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Ace Ventura, that's a good series of movies too. It's dated at this point, unfortunately. It is very dated, yes, that's true. You have to look at it through the eyes of the 90s, I guess. Yes. <laughs> okay, what is in this prism? Okay, this is a poster? It is a poster! Okay, how can I slide this out? Whoa! Oh my gosh, there's no note or anything in here. It's just, it's just a poster. But it's like a really old school reptiles poster that I'm getting like 50s vibes. Like the original wildlife biologists created these drawings and these sketches. And they each have a number. I wonder what the number's for. There's nothing else in that box. Well, whoever sent this. I have so many questions, but this is really cool. I wonder if this is these are like extinct reptiles. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I like the uh, the artwork style on this too. Thank you, whoever sent this. Now so Lexi, have to look it up. no Hannah, cool. Hannah sent us a bunch of uh, stuff in here. But first, that's a huge box. They said uh, breeding idea: breed a super conda together or two, an albino or lavender morph, and then bam, new morph pognos. So super conda to lavender? A albino or lavender. There we go, yep. brand new hognos. Brand, brand new hognos. Perfect, I would actually love to see a super conda lavender. Yeah. That would be really pretty, I bet. oh my gosh. I think Rex gets a new toy. <laughs> oh. This one will have to wait though, because this rope will get like cruddy really quickly. Yeah, remember so. we bought one of these for from PetSmart for her back in the day? Uh, we did have to toss it when we moved her here because it was just too gross. It was unsavable, but now she has a new one! Cool! And we Thank have a you. new Rex Fish Funs box. Oh my gosh! The Rex Fish Fun box. Aw, you guys are so nice. Thank, Thank you, you, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. Do you want to put this next to Rex's toy? Sure. That we are going to give her at the end of the yep. stream? Yep, she'll get that one at the end of the stream. Yep. Awesome. This is from Abby in Louisiana. Ed's gonna kick things around, I guess. Yep. Oh my gosh. This is a box full of goodies. Oh, look at that. This is, you had two shades. Wow. Did you coordinate this, guys? Wow, there's two of these. Well, we can bring this one home for you and you can enjoy it at home and this will be your work toy treat. How about that? Your work treat. The work treat. Oh, thank you, Abby. And there's tons of, oh my gosh, so there's mixed nuts in here for Cheyenne. There's almonds in here for Cheyenne. Were you this good? No. I don't know if you were this good. Did you have a whip? I don't think you were, you were just uh, this well behaved this year. Here, you can have a Harrison's though. How about, oh, actually, you dropped your finch fry. Do you want that back? Yeah, you're welcome. Mm. <laughs> oh, I guess not. All so right. This doesn't say who sent it, but somebody sent us a Bender Branch from Flukers. Aww. Wow, well thank you. A better alternative to the Wish brand. Much better than the Wish brand <laughs> vine. Yes, that's actually a good vine. We can use that for sure. Thank you, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> thank you though. This is a snake discovery box. Oh, nice. Covered in money duct tape. <gasps> and filled with something better than wow. money. Chocolates! Hot coat. I think that's part of the tape. Oh my gosh, there's a huge chocolate bar in here too. Look at that. And there's all of those. Look at that. Oh mm. my gosh. So that's what it feels like. I guess I can look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to read this first. Oh, I just thought it was a net box. Okay, that's gonna be fun. But Abby also sent more chocolates and some gummy snakes and more gummy snakes. Oh my goodness, thank you. And Cadbury cream eggs. You like these, don't you? Yeah, those are delicious. Nice. I don't think- I just saw somebody drive through a parking lot. Yeah, I don't think they stopped though. So That's good. I think they kept going. Perfect. Who is this? This would be, that would be interesting if somebody thought we were open right now because this is one of our closed days. <laughs> Thank you, Abby, for all these treats. There's so many here. Oh, and that's right, okay. there's this one too. So, Lucy sent, I'm guessing me, because they sent you, here, you get Pokemon cards. You can have these. Okay. Aw, thanks, Lucy. Yep, Lucy. Thanks, Lucy. And whatever's in this. Aw, a little clay uh, whale and snake. I can't you show the house those clay off. Clay snake. Oh, I've got to take this out. Here's the clay snake. That's super cute. I love oh, the gosh, colors. 
Put that right there. And the clay whale. Look at that. That's so cute too. I love the pink stripes. You even put a blowhole in it. Lucy right. sent me a giant gummy snake. Oh my gosh. That's, that's what I saw. It's kind of melty. <laughs> kind of melty. <laughs> I wonder where it was it in a truck for a little while. I wonder. It might have been. It looks pretty. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. Oh, it's like melting like on your gooey, hands. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, I'll have to like rinse that off and eat it later. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go wash my hands. Don't wipe it on my new shirt. No, 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 no. This, no, nope, this is brown nori. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. It might have to leave to wash your hands. Yes, I will be back. I will try to open this package and pull it tape from Abby, if I can. Maybe I'll use the sorry side. <laughs> There's just so much tape. I don't know how I'm gonna open this. Like, well, okay. I just dunked my hands in turtle water, it's all good. You just dunked them in turtle yep. water? I mean, that works. I don't know how to open this. I'll just peel off the tape. I should have brought scissors. Oh, wait. Just chop it. I tried chopping it. A bigger knife to do that with. Here we go. Now we can really dig into this. It's so bulky. I don't know if I can. There. Kind of got it. This is again from Abby in Louisiana, if I remember correctly. Oh my gosh. What are you opening over there? Uh, a box from Evelyn. Who sent nice. us a bunch of stuff and some hi Ed and Emily. I love you. Awesome Aww. drawing, Evelyn. It's cute. Evelyn sent us the best M&Ms ever. Oh, which, the peanut M&Ms. Which you can't get better than peanut M&Ms. That is really the best flavor. And then M &Ms. sent Rex or the snakes a, ball, a holy roller. A holy roller. Cheyenne gets some real rewards orchard mix. Wow. Emily gets wow. some chocolate. Ooh. Oh my gosh! And Cheyenne gets a toy. Oh, wow! There's so many in here. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you, Evelyn Thank and you. grandmother. Here, this is from Evelyn. Do you want a new toy? Here you go, get it. Oh, no, I think we're trying to. Here, put it in your hand. There, get it. Yay, get it. All right, Cheyenne's going to work on that. Let's see what this package from Abby is. Should I be was... fearing for my life? No, I'm almost there. Okay, I got it. That was wrapped really well. Oh my gosh, just broke my hands. And that makes it all worth it. Tons of chocolate. Ooh, a fruit and nut chocolate. Cool, if you could have chocolate, you'd probably like this. Thank you, Abby, for all of these gifts. That was really nice of you. There's some cool cards in here too. And some, oh, I punctured this one though with the, the machete. You can see where I like smacked it from the backside and made a bunch of little holes. So we're going to have to eat this big candy bar pretty soon. Okay, sounds good. All right. Thank you, Abby. Here we go. You Ready? Can... Uh, Catch. Uh, okay. Uh, that one's going to open if I throw it at you. <laughs> well, Checking you're not going to throw that one either. Fragile? Though. Making sure they're not fragile? Sure. sure. That's what I'm doing. That sounds good. I'll just carry on my gas. Okay. <laughs> Take all That's the fun here. out of throwing stuff. Look, chocolate. Oh, my gosh. You guys are way too nice. We don't deserve this. I... I never know what to say during these because you're all so generous. If you chop off a finger from the machete, are you going to feed it to Rex? May as well. Yeah, it depends on which finger. You know, I probably don't need all ten. It's fine. We don't have medical science that will allow us to retach it or anything nah. like that. <laughs> this is from Shay in Idaho. There is an Alolan Raichu. Best Raichu. No, I mean, original Raichu you can't beat. Nah. But Alolan is an awesome Raichu as that well. That psychic. That isn't really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Like, he's, he's surfing on his tail. Oh, that makes sense why they make him psychic then. Oh, I love you. She's <laughs> even the snack talk too. That's a, We have actually pins that look just like that. This is super cute. Oh, and she has her bearded dragon here. And there's chocolates in here. I'm going to try to find a note from her. Eh. Okay. So Shay sent this. Okay. I hope your gifts come in well in the mail, and I hope you enjoy them too. I sent you both special stuff. I sent Ed a Raichu and Emily a Pokemon card that I thought looked like you, especially since you worked in a cave. So that's for nice. you from Shay. Um, and 
And I have a specific Pokemon card for me. Oh! Oh, cool! This is me in a Pokemon card. Kind of. <laughs> it does kind of look actually, like you, actually. I gotta bring this around. <laughs> so Shay sent this awesome Pokemon card and said it looked like me since I worked in the cave. I will take that with pride. This is a cool looking card. Thank you, Shay. Awesome. You even thought of me. That's sweet. So Becky and their uh, royal python, or ball python, uh, Crowley sent you a bunch of galaxy chocolate. Apparently we got galaxy chocolate a little while ago. So they noticed we got the one flavor. So now they're like, here's the rest of the flavors. Oh my gosh. We got darker milk. We got honeycomb crisp. We got cookie crumble. Oh, that looks good. We got smooth caramel oh, and God. smooth orange. Which oh. one do you want to try on camera? I kind of want to try smooth orange. That's the fun thing. Yeah, orange chocolate is really good too. I just never have it that on. All chocolate is good, let's be real. Thank you, Becky. We're going to try this. Oh, smooth orange. Okay, here's a check. Thank you. I like how you stuffed right yeah. there. <laughs> I need more things to wear. Mm. Mm. So galaxy. Ah. Smooth orange. That was really good. Oh, there's the orange. Yep. So good for you a second. It's like uh, the, the eggs. The smacky, smacky. Yeah, the things. holiday smacky eggs. Yeah, whatever those are called. You guys know what I mean. Yeah. It tastes just like those, just not in an orange slice. Is that a thing out of this country? The smacky eggs? Or is, or is that, that a US only, only a US thing? Come on, people. Yeah, let us know. You know the eggs that are chocolate, you have to whack them on the counter for all the pieces to break apart from each other? They look like an orange. They make you so you can eat your vegetables and actually just, or fruit, and just get your uh, mm -hmm. chocolate fix. Yeah. Are those just in the U.S., though? I don't know. Hmm. Jerry's chocolate orange is in the U.K. That's it. Okay, so that's in the U.K. Just in the U.K. Okay. So it's worldwide. As they deserve. They don't have them in Australia. You guys are missing out. Oh, I'm sorry, Aussies. You need to somehow get your hands on one of those chocolate oranges. Jerry's oranges. chocolate orange from U.K., so... Yeah, it looks like Norway has them too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And in the Netherlands. All right, so just oh. Australia appears to not have them. Hmm. I wonder what they don't like about Australia. Like, <laughs> Somebody just went. Jerry was, Jerry is like, I hate Australia. Yeah, They're never getting yeah. my chocolate eggs. Uh, he went or, to Australia one time and somebody told him to go, eh, And he, <laughs> he went, nope, they don't get the <laughs> orange chocolates down here. Exactly. Somebody just commented that the crickets are raving right now. Oh, yeah, you can hear the crickets, can't you? <laughs> yeah. Whenever we have adults in stock, they chirp a lot. Yeah. But we have adults in stock, yeah. so there's that. This is from Georgie in the UK. What did Georgie send? send? Okay, we've got a letter here. Hi, my name is Georgie. I'm 10 years old. I've been watching your channel since I was around seven or eight. I have one reptile of my own, Ziggy the leopard gecko, and my family all look after Turbo the tortoise. I've made you each a bracelet and a coaster, and I made a dragon decoration, which I hope arrived all in one piece. Aw, I, um, I think that you are so, oh, so amazing and wish that one day I could come to your facility and see all the animals. Love Georgie. Oh, and Georgie's uh, animals are really cute too. The tortoise and the gecko. Okay, okay, so Georgie sent us and made us bracelets. There's yours. Sweet. Here's mine. Quick thing. Hey, Emmerich, how are you doing? Hi, Emmerich. Is that in the chat? Yep. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, cute. And these are really thick too. Oh, nice. Got that. Oh, oh wow. It's oh. like a giant bracelet. Right? Yeah. Oh, it fits perfectly. Sweet. Thank oh, you, George. Both our favorite colors. They are our favorite colors. Yeah. Oh, is this Cheyenne colors? This matches you. You see that? Isn't that pretty? George, you made it. I'm not going to pick you up right now. I'm sorry. And he sent Cadbury um, chocolate and some Haribo um, gummies. Wow, there's a lot in here. Woo. Okay, I'm going to set that over here. That's paper. Okay, and then there's one more thing in here that I should probably open up. See any more questions? Uh, so we're going to try to answer more questions than we usually do. <laughs> what is your favorite book from Wings of Fire? Also, have you read the 14th book? I have not read the 14th book. No spoilers. I haven't had time. But I have read all the way up to 13, and I really... Uh, I don't know. The one about Tsunami was probably a good one. But I also... Glory is my favorite character. So I like that one, too. I don't you know. just answered so many questions that I've read on emails and stuff like that. Oh, really? Yeah, like, what's Emily's favorite Wings of Fire? What's Aww. your favorite Wings of Fire character? <laughs> there you go. Oh, Georgia made this? That's really cute. It's like 
It's like a snake, manatee, maybe Vaporeon mix. Oh. That's really cute. I don't know exactly what it is, but I love the look of it and the scales that you added down its back. That's gonna go right up front here. Super cute. Thank you, Georgie. That looks really neat. Okay, I'm gonna set this down here. And then, what are you reading? <laughs> this is funny. So, uh, hi, Emily and Ed. I'm a 40-something mom of five and wife and I will never have a pet snake or reptile. I am surprised by how much I enjoy your channel. I am sure my children aged 16 to 26 are amused by my fascination with snake discovery that I found by accident in my YouTube feed. Oh, nice. Thank you for your great content. Aww. Uh, she sent us a bunch of things. She sent us oh, yeah. little spiders. Aww. Oh my gosh. A mama spider. Aww. And four baby spiders. They're jumping spiders, too. Yeah. They've got the big front eyes. If you keep them together, they'll eat each other. You know. So we should house them separately? So we should probably house them separately. Okay. These are adorable. And then she sent us a Rex. Oh my gosh. Aww. Aww. Wow. I wonder if she made that one. I think I didn't read the whole note, so I'm reading that now. Okay. These are really cute. Mama and baby spiders. Or is it a female and male spiders? Oh, maybe. Could be that, that could be too. too. Oh, then she'd probably eat them. Yeah, so she'll still eat them. <laughs> yeah, she'll eat them regardless if they're babies or males. Yes, it That's... does look like she made them. Wow, I can't believe she made these. These are really, really cute. Best what wishes to you and your future, especially with the zoo. Sincerely, the Ashcraft family in Idaho. In Idaho. Thank you, Ashcraft family. Not really a fan of spiders, but jumping spiders are strangely entertaining. And they are jumping spiders then! <laughs> yep. Aren't jumping spiders the cutest? Yeah, jumping it's... spiders are the spider that gets everyone over their fears of spiders. Just like hognose snakes do for people who yep. are fr afraid of snakes. Yep. You just show them enough hognoses and they start falling in love. Yeah, these have to go somewhere. There's four little babies in here that she made. These are adorable. That's amazing. Yeah, super cute. And Cheyenne's gonna take one. Don't... Okay. <laughs> Cheyenne yeah, wants can, to move them. Rex can sit next to Randy Jr. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, Q&A. Have you read from Danger Noodle? Have you read Aragon? Uh -huh. yes. yes, we the have. The whole series. The whole series. Couple times. It's amazing. It's I great don't series. suggest watching the movie. Don't but, watch you know. the movie. <laughs> I'm going to grab some packages. Okay, I will read this first. Because it says read first. Uh, like out loud? Liana, 10 years old, sent us this package, and Riley, 8 years old, sent us this package. Let's see what's all in here. They sent, oh, they sent you Stroopwafels. <gasps> nice! Oh, that nice. can go on top of my coffee mug right here when I have that coffee in it. Nice. And then they sent, ooh, sponge candy. Ooh. They sent us dark chocolate raspberry squares. <laughs> Or yes. Emily Dark Chocolate Raspberry Squares. Yes. They sent an Oreo cream Ooh. egg. I'll share that one with you. Thank you. And then I'll I'll keep all. You'll take everything else. Oh, Cheyenne gets yes. almond, by the way. Oh, almonds for so Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Oh. I think people guy. like Cheyenne more than they like us. I think they do. You get so many treats, Cheyenne, but you deserve uh, it. You and then they, they sent it. us a bunch of pictures of their pets. Oh, cute. Nice. <laughs> do people like you more than us? Yeah, I I think they do. Here, yeah. just about. Nobody yeah. really likes me and you. No, not really. They it's just use us to get to our animals. Yeah. There you go. You can chill over here. Yeah. There you go, Cheyenne. You can help. Oh, except the, the, not, the machete is like right there. Okay. Yeah, let's not give her the machete. Yeah. Is the Aww. machete's covered up now? Oh, that's really cute. Aww. Cheyenne, it's you. Look, it's you wearing your bandana. Oh, and she's a Pokemon trainer today, by the way. She's been wearing her Pokemon sweater for like the last... Two weeks, three weeks, they last. I, mean, I think it's been even longer than that. It might have been. It might be longer than that. She wears her sweaters now like beautifully, and they fit so well. And we're just lucky to have had so many people send us sweaters. We think she's learned that she stays warm. Yeah, yeah, because she on. she doesn't shiver as much when I'm bringing her to and from the the shop here, and so they are keeping her warm. She does still pluck, so it doesn't like prevent. She can. I don't know how she does it, but she does still reach underneath and she plucks her feathers still. But it covers her up, so yeah. she doesn't look as naked. So, yeah, thank What's you so much for the sweaters. The hardest part of owning 50 plus snakes. The hardest part? Yeah. Um, that's a good one. What would you say? Keep making sure our employees take care of them properly. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good one. Kidding, yeah. I love everyone. <laughs> now, Except. the worst is probably when one of our snakes grabs their food and they drag it under their hide. 
and then they don't eat it. But you don't see it because they've hidden it oh, and probably yeah. buried it with substrate, and you smell it before you see it Ugh. about five days later, and that's the yeah. worst smell because you walk in and you're like, something's dead in here. <laughs> like, a feeder has been left out. And so you have to play the game of, okay, what snake didn't eat, and uh, then you have to find a dead rat. So that's probably the hardest part. Yeah. That's so, never fun. That's never fun. You get to learn what the, the smell of decay smells like really uh -huh. quickly. Yep. Where is this from? You got Rex Fish Funds. I'll just put it in the Rex Fish Funds box. This all oh, thanks. You don't have to send don't send cash. Keep that. Keep that there. really in there. We'll use it for Rex if it's here, but Morgan don't. from Ohio. Thank you, sent Morgan. You a bunch of stuff. Oh, I sent you a book. Oh, there's a book. About Nick. Oh about nearly endless Nick. They also sent, sent you tons of coffee. Oh my gosh. That Duncan, you can send. <laughs> Duncan, Breakfast Ben, Blend, <laughs> Folgers, classic. Oh, nice. Yep. I'm and sure. then some chocolate. Whoa. There's and so... I have one. There you go. You can have all this nasty coffee. I get coffee, all of this. And I'll oh. take my caramel chocolate. Yes. Starbucks <laughs> coffee, Duncan coffee, Folgers. This is amazing. I love this. This might not be for us. Thank you, Morgan. Yes, thank you, Morgan. The address is for another building so that actually might be someone else's mail that we just haven't opened since the summer. Um, no, it says to snake discovery. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Somehow, oh, somebody just sent it to the wrong address. Okay. Send it to our PO box, not our neighbors, because we had a couple <laughs> people do that, and then we've had to, like, our neighbors track us down and go, like, hey, we got this from, yeah. to you? Yeah, people, that has happened. But it made it. But they sent us assorted Swiss chocolate wafers. Well, I've never seen these. Whoa, Swiss chocolate wafers. Uh, yeah, let's try one of these. What was the name on this? It didn't have a name. Didn't have a name? No. Okay. Well, whoever sent this, thank you. We get to try something. Oh, they're hitty bitty. Oh, cute. Oh, and there's different flavors in here. I guess it didn't say assorted. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's like the Keebler Elves um, wafer things. <laughs> All right. No worries. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, the Swiss know how to do chocolate, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really good. And they're all individually wrapped, so we can just leave that out. They won't go stale. Thank you, whoever sent that. Aw. Morgan's story is about a ghost who has a friend and a snake named Nick. Aww. So he, had, she adopted nearly headless Nick. Oh. Aww. It's a whole story. Yep. Cute. Well, yeah, we should set that aside so we can go through it. Yep. That's really cute. All right. I'll open this one. Oh, that's right. I got this really big one that's heavy and oh wow, long. Jeez. All right. I'll this read some stuff. is from Fantomu. Oh, Elaine, John, and Amy in Florida. What did they say? Elaine, John, and Amy. Okay. They sent oh snake discovery art. Oh, look at these. Who's this your favorite employee? Favorite employee. <laughs> is an employee asking this? It might have been. No, I don't. I don't think it was Kim. <laughs> well, Kim did bring us uh, caribou today, so Kim, Kim brought caribou. I'll probably say today is Kim. <laughs> we love all of our employees equally. They're all amazing. We we really did luck out on Everybody. our employees. Everybody is. Everyone's been great. They've been awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we've got artwork from I for Elaine, John, and Amy. We're gonna turn this around. Got some cute art. There's, oh, I wonder if they went out to, this is for Ed. Ooh. They must have gone out to the Georgia Buckies because they're nice. from Florida. Whoa. Oh, cool. And happy new tier socks. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, it's great. honey and reptile-y. Emily's going to wear those socks forever. I'm going to wear them every day. <laughs> that is great. I love it. Oh, cute. And there's an isopod plush in here. Aww. That's really cute. That's amazing. Oh, and pictures of their animals or, oh, pictures of, I think, coyotes. Cute. Oh, and a feather test. Um, oh, apparently there are buckies in Florida. There's buckies in Florida and your parents <gasps> didn't tell us? It's a finger puppet. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. <laughs> yes. <gasps> <laughs> An armadillo. You should play with Shane with it. See what she thinks. Okay. Shane, look, it's an icon. No! Oh. Get it! Get it! Good girl! Book. She's not sure what to think. <laughs> She's uh, a little bit confused. Oh, it's Timmy. Timmy the ice pod! <laughs> he got nice. a lot bigger. Yeah, he did. Oh, there's go, two Timmy, toys. Go. Are they here? 
Or did someone just say it was Timmy? It's just a, it's Timmy. It's Timmy, yes. <laughs> There's two twenties for our um, rodents, too, in here. Nice. Thank you, guys. And give it to our ASFs. Yeah, our chew on that instead of escaping their bins. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> just this. They keep chewing their way out. It's a whole tube full of chocolate, by the way. From Australia? Oh, Ava. my Ava. Rachel and Ava. Okay. Yep. Oh what is Ed's favorite Pokemon? Bidoof. <laughs> There Portrait. is a feather challenge. Ooh. Let me find the feather challenge. Feather test, feather test. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is a lot more than I was expecting. I don't see a feather chest test in here. There is a ton of chocolate in here. Tim Tams, like... Tim Tam trick. Please coffee. try on camera. Nibble both ends of Tim Tam, insert one in coffee, and suck like straw. We did this. We did do that on camera, yeah. we yeah. did that on camera. And it, it surprisingly works really it well. It actually worked. That's right. That's the Tim Tam trick. Nice. Oh, no, I don't well, see since this is coffee, test. I think I'm gonna get to claim these. All right. I already got a bag. Is this so. wagon wheels, a marshmallow and jam wagon wheel. I've never heard of that before. We might have to try it. And there's gummy snakes. You're getting so many gummy snakes. Yeah, I have a pile over here, and my 30 year old self is like, you don't need to eat those. <laughs> uh, the snakes get pinkies. These are for you both. Okay, these are. What is both of our backgrounds? Especially Ed. Oh, you should explain your background. Uh, I it, was a slacker mind. in high school who had a appreciation for computers, went to IT, found someone who was into reptiles, started a YouTube channel and a business, and now I'm here. There you go. That's, yep, Ed's that's a background. quick and dirty background yes, for Ed. That, that is you, though, in a nutshell. <laughs> they also I, sent a poster. Oh, cool. Well, that's that what I was is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, it is all Australian. Oh, yeah, yeah. Reptiles, Reptiles of Australia. That's awesome. Yeah, you should that around. Oh, okay, you're gonna hold it in front of the camera? Yep, I'm gonna nice. try. I'm gonna try this wagon wheel. I don't, I don't know. It says it's random, but right. Oh, whoa. Not now. There we go. Oh, updates? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the reptiles. That's an awesome post. That's probably really loud, too, because I'm standing right next to it. Where's the shingleback? Is there a shing There's probably shingleback on there. There it is. Shingleback. Oh, weird. That's one I want to find when we go to Australia, eventually. Jam, marshmallow, and chocolate is a weird That's delicious. combination. Oh, that is strange. I wasn't expecting that flavor. I can taste them all, though. Not bad. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. I've never heard of wagon wheels before, but that is pretty cool. Thank you, guys. This is Rachel and Anna, Anna Ava. Hang on. The tube is down here. Ava. Ava. Rachel and Ava. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, maybe There's we can... also a ton of other things like cream eggs. Oh my god. And Cadbury things oh, the that were very open. Yeah. What's this one? Cherry ripe candy bar? Ooh, there's so many. You want to do a Cadbury cream egg? Sure, let's try that. I wonder if it's the same as it. the one. Yeah, that's true. Same as the US or a little different maybe? I don't know. How do you eat these? I haven't had a Cadbury egg in years same you just you just oh it tastes the same you mm -hmm. think okay mm. yep tastes like a cadbury egg i can go right here we can he also sent milo milo which what is, is like a hot cho or a chocolate mix drink or hot. sprinkle on ice cream on ice cream <sighs> sweet we'll have to give that a try is that an australian thing where you sprinkle this on ice cream okay yeah we can definitely try that oh whoa Thank you for all the goodies and new things to try. This is from another Mike. This is Mike in California. Sent a big box. Is this the Mike? Maybe this is the Mike. Uh, this is the Emily and Mike. Yep, my boyfriend Mike. Oh my gosh, yeah. If you send stuff like this. White chocolate or milk chocolate, Emily? Milk chocolate. White chocolate is good if there's Oreo mixed in, so like cookies and cream. <laughs> Otherwise, it's got to be milk chocolate. Mike said driftwood. Wow. Holy cow, look at that piece. That's amazing. That's an awesome piece of wood. Oh my gosh. Oh no. There's another one. Uh oh. Don't tip it. Oh. All right, we're good. It's like that carnival game where the quarters push <laughs> their way up front. Wow, Mike. These are going to be great. We can use these for like our beardies in Adoption Island, actually. They will love this. I think we've done this before, but Hogwarts House. Ravenclaw. Slytherin. Yeah, you took the test. Oh, you were yep. Slytherin. Ah, oh, married a Slytherin. Oh, yep. cool. The microhabitat. And that's great because 
when the retic got out and knocked our other one over and broke it, we haven't been able to use it. So oh, we have that's a new right. One. Yay. Yay. Thanks, Mike. How did you know? <laughs> cool. Baby spice. Baby spice, yep. Leave it to a, an 18 foot retic to 135 escape. pound retic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, Mike sent that. Oh, jeez. Uh. We can't accept this, Mike. That's way too much. I don't think we... That I feel bad depositing this. This check. So, thank you, Mike, but I I don't know if I can... Ex we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, though. Just, just this is amazing. A lot of people want to know how uh, Randy got his name. They want to know Randy... Well, we can't tell you yet until construction's done. Yeah, we have to wait till everything's done with building and then the stream after that will tell you why he got his name then we'll explain unless someone in the chat saw us in person and because we tell people in person in the facility we just can't have it in a video yet so I don't, I don't want to make someone upset so <laughs> we'll wait till construction is over which it isn't unfortunately look at all this from Mike wow thank you oh is it the halogen we use these in the zoo we use these too oh and there's dishes in here Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Thank you, Mike. We will use all of this. Oh geez. Whether for reptiles in the zoo or adoption animals, we can use everything in here. Thank you very much. That was really nice of you. I don't know. I didn't see in the letter if this was leftover stuff or not, but so regardless, thank filthy you. Filthy casual player. Construction is not quite done yet. Basically, the city made us do the entire refront area, the front that we had the new roof yeah. put on and everything like that. Apparently it wasn't up to code after we changed it, even though it was the exact same. Yeah. So now we have to tear down the entire front and redo it. So construction's it. not done yeah. quite yet. Look, yeah. more money from oh Rex Funds. Thank you. You don't have to say that. So this is from, uh, this box is from Leland. Leland? Leland, yep. Okay. And, ooh, a heat bar. Here, you get a pumpkin pie Kit Kat. Say, ooh. Or ooh, a Hershey's pie. fangs. Fangs? I wonder if this is, oh, yep. It's a Hershey's bar shaped as fangs. That's cookies and cream. Look at that. Oh, nice. Yeah, shaped as fangs. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but they're little fangs. There's another Kit Kat, mm. full size Kit Kat. Mm, I love cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Leland. Look at all these goodies. There's even little, little lizards and frogs in here. Aw. I love how this is a reused uh, heat mat. Package, by the way. It's not just a bunch of Cute! I could turn those into magnets yeah, and put them on our fridge. A snake on our fridge. Mm -hmm. It's gotta go that way. A That's bunch really of other cool. little things. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Some Pokemon cards. Aww. Thank you, Leland. Thank you. Super cute artwork in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm gonna munch on this for a little while now. Oh, this is sticky. Why is this sticky? What in the world? You want a stick? All right, let's nope. see here. Okay. Snake Discovery Me. Do you want Snowglow? Hello, Ed and Emily. My name is Maria, oh, and I am from Spain. I've been a fan of the channel for almost two years. Aw. Oh, from just, Spain? They're a Patreon backer, too. Oh, thank you. Look at this. After seeing how happily Emily gets when she receives chocolate, I decided to send you some of my favorite chocolate bars and some coffee. Oh, my gosh. The coffee must have gotten moved out on accident. Huh. <laughs> Be advised, it's natural coffee from the, uh, my island, so it's a little strong. Oh. Did that slip out of the box? It must have. Oh, no. But we got the chocolate bars. The chocolate made it? Oh my gosh. To, well, maybe. I mean, I'm sure it's there. We just have to find it in the pile. Maybe. maybe. Okay. We'll look for a well, Spanish look. coffee. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. so this go. is Spanish chocolate. Yep. Spanish chocolate bars. Wow. They're called Ambrose, Ambrosia. Or wait. Ambrosia Terma? Ambrosia Terma. Trima? Trima. Terma. Okay. Yeah, we're trying one right now, right? Yes. Okay. Go for it. I have to open it, though. Spanish chocolate is hard to open. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, that took way too long. I got it, eventually. Eh. Ooh. It's like a light wafer. Kind of like these, actually. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. Except it's that vanilla. Was... Vanilla, that's the flavor. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love the vanilla. Thank you, Maria. Us. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Maria, that was really nice. We will find the coffee. We will find the coffee. I'm sure it just slipped out it's around It's Folgers, here. right? From <laughs> yeah. Spain? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, Spain is known for their Folgers coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab those boxes. Man, nah, you have a lot more stuff over by you than I do. Do I? Oh, never mind. There's actually boxes over here. They're just I hiding. Didn't open these. What was that? Where is the clay snake? There's apparently a clay snake that fell. Uh oh. Did a clay snake fall? Here's a whale or a, a dolphin. Oh. All right, let me see. Okay, that's gonna... The clay snake fell, and the whale is going to please save the whale. I think it's too late for save the snake. Okay. Got oh, the whale. It must have fallen on this side. Oh, it's on the. Uh oh. We'll find it. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it. Don't worry. Now we know it's down There's there. There's a bunch of boxes down there. It didn't. It didn't break. Yeah, that's true. Christian the fall. Okay, this one. Oh, is there a note on here? It doesn't say it's from a person on the package, so hopefully I can figure out who this one is from. We have, though, don't know what this is. Uh, a ceramic stone? Hmm. Oh, it's for sharpening a knife. Oh, cool. I can sharpen the snake discovery knife. Yep. We've got honing oil. Oh, nice. That's, that's all for, for the sharpening stone? knives. Well, uh, that's cool. Is there a, I'm trying to find a note in here. What's this one? I don't know. That seems like a knife. Oh. <laughs> it's from Utah. It's from Order Fulfillments in Utah. So that's why I was trying to find a note. Blackjack knife. Slimline tactical pen. <gasps> Is this a knife pen? <gasps> oh my gosh. Is it that... doesn't have any instructions on it either, which... What? What is this? It's just a pen. And I think this is pen? like for breaking glass. Whoa. Heavy duty pen. Wow, stuff we can use though, because I have the, my snake discovery knife that's getting pretty blunt. I wonder if that's what this is for. Probably. Huh. Well, whoever sent this, thank you. Now we can sharpen this knife finally. That's awesome. You know how to use a ceramic oh, stone yeah. too, that's, right? That's the way I sharpen all our knives at home. I don't know what else, unless it's just for like, I think that's for breaking glass. So okay. you have this, and then if you ever need to break glass, you can just like, wow. do that. Oh, huh, it's in such a fancy package, yeah, too. Whoa, whoever Let's sent this, thank up. you. You're gonna Google tactical yeah. pens? Okay. Slim line. Does it come apart? Tactical it does, but I don't want to break it, so I don't think there I'm go. going to take it apart. Okay. Do, do, do. I can go there. While you figure it out, that works. That's cool. I feel like there's still something else in there that I that Screw we're not getting. Screw off cap. Screw off cap? Yeah. I mean, I can pull it off. I can unscrew that. That's the pen part, though. Hmm. Is it this part that screws off? No. Ah. Eh. That's another part of the pen. I just don't want to break it. So if that one's gonna stay there. It'll figure it out. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. <laughs> But thank you, whoever sent it. Yeah, just a glass breaker on top. Glass breaker pen. Okay, yep. neat. Huh, I guess That's you never cool. know. Yeah, yeah I've you never just had keep something it in like that. Little pocket protector. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, this is from Nova in North Carolina. I love all of the fancy stickers and uh, tape on here. It's like a rainbow. Let's see. Let's open this guy up, maybe. There we go. All right, from Nova to Emily and Ed. In this box is coffee chocolate, or coffee chocolate, a bib for shy hand, and some fake flowers and Pokemon cards, uh, and a pen and bracelets. I like your shows and love learning all about reptiles. I think it's cool that you want to help the earth and saving, helping animals. Question: What is the smallest snake in the world? That would be the Brahimi blind snake, right? I or believe so. The red snake. I, I know the smallest python. What's that? The anthill python. Yep. How long have you had Rex? We've had Rex for seven, eight years now. Eight years, actually, just about. Man, we've had Rex for a long time. Oh, and then there's pictures of her pets. That she has got a, a turtle and a cat at home. Oh, and she drew. Oh, I thought it was a double headed snake at first. We've got corn snake drawings here. We've got, I think I saw one of Cheyenne. There's Rex here from Nova. Cute, let me find the Cheyenne one. Oh, cute, there's a salamander drawing. That's adorable, too. And there's Cheyenne. That's really cute. Cheyenne, look, Nova drew you. It looks just like you. What do you think? You're gonna try to, no, that's not worth it. That's not, nope, 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 that's not, well, yay. Okay, let's not trip it. We're gonna hang this up. We're gonna put this over here. Oh wait, that one needs magnets. Oh, here we go. 
There. Everyone can see it. So this is You're from walking away. Yeah, this is from Alejandra and Father Lewis. Yeah, Lewis. Okay. Uh, Lewis, Alejandra's dad. Alejandra's dad makes gravestones. Oh. And they made us this, and Emily hasn't seen it yet, but she's gonna probably tear up when she sees it. What gravestone? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna tear up. Gosh, I don't want to tear up on camera. This is from, from Alejandra and Father Lewis. And Lewis. Yeah. Lewis and Hall Alejand Alejandra. Yeah. That's a. I love that name. I. Wish I knew how to pronounce it for sure. Alejandra. Wow. Alejandra. That's really sweet. Oh my gosh. Aw. Thank you for this for this tombstone of Nick. We're gonna have to find a place to put this. Cause I think he's still he's in our freezer, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's still in our freezer. Yeah, we're trying we to think of to what him. to do with Nick, whether we wanted to preserve him or bury him. So he is currently in a, a freezer. Uh, but, uh, are you, oh, nice, you're gonna show, perfect. Yep. Um, but yeah, we can at least put this out in his memory. Yep. And then, oh, thank you. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. But I'm gonna set this right here. And if anybody's interested in anything, here's Lewis's business card. I scratched out the number so you guys, but you can see the email address and everything else. Focus, camera. Focus. Eh, it's good enough. This is beautiful, though. Yeah, it is. Wow. That's amazing. It's really, like, sturdy, heavy. I don't know how to describe it, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Actually, they also sent you uh, a fear or a share yeah. and Toblerone. Oh, and chocolate to make everything better. <laughs> uh, to make me not tear up. Oh, I do love chocolate runs. Oh, thank you. This was a very sweet gift. And we will cherish this forever. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you again. It's probably going to live in our office. Yeah, probably. Um, from Nova here, I still am kind of opening a couple things from her. Here is the bib that I think she made. Yep, for Cheyenne. Hey, Cheyenne. I know you're wearing a sweater. You're getting a lot of treats from all this, but I'm gonna give you a, a bib too. Will it fit? Oh no, it won't fit. I'll put it on this way. There, beautiful. It's a little small. Don't drop it in your poop. We're gonna put it maybe like this. It's really cute if it were to fit. Maybe I'll have to give this to someone with a slightly smaller bird so it can fit on them. But thank you, this is adorable. And there's also flowers in here. And oh my gosh, there's coffee. I'm gonna be so hyped up on caffeine yeah, from trying all this stuff. I'm kind of worried coffee. about myself now. You should be worried. <laughs> Thank you. The flowers can go there. We'll definitely use those for the animals here. And there's a couple more chocolates. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, and the outrageous bar. This is the best, best candy bar in the world. Closely followed by these. These are delicious too. Anyway, thank you, Nova, for all the gifts. I can't. Oh, that smells good. Can't wait to try the coffee. Nice. So let's put all this back in here. Leilana, Leilani from Helena, Montana. Yep. Sent us a box of uh, Montana goodies and also a sweet drawing. Oh my gosh, shiny Umbreon. Cool. Oh, I love the colors. That's really they cool. They sent us some wow. Indian fry bread that we have to make ourselves. Fry bread? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. I don't actually have much experience this with, with this. I believe it's commonly made in or made into tacos, but you can also add butter and sugar for them to be a pleasant dessert. Huh. Holy moly. Oh um, my gosh. We have wild huckleberry cordials. Cord, I don't know. Cor cordials? Cordials? Let's see, I'll do one that's on here. The huckleberry. Gummy grizzlies. Okay. There's the gummy grizzlies. There's a whole so, box of things. I guess Montana is known for huckleberries. I guess, and cherries. And cherries. All right, what do, you, what do you want to try? The chocolate covered huckleberries, gummy grizzlies, huckleberry lo lolly, uh, choke cherry tea, we can't do that one, and huckleberry coffee, which that's in here somewhere. Wow. Oh my um, gosh. Hammond's chocolate. <laughs> All right. Hmm, what do we want to? I mean, I'm kind of curious what's in this little purple wooden box. Oh, she's got a sweet name, a signature. Oh, that is a cool signature. So, well, you can choose. 
Yeah, you should open that up. Okay, I'll open this guy up. I don't know what fry bread is, but I'm curious to try it now. Oh, jalapeno chocolate. There you go. You should try that. Okay, I'll open that. Okay. And then we'll open one together. Okay. Berry ham and chocolate. Got it. Huckleberry cordials. Oh, here's your huckleberry coffee. Oh, cute. Yeah, cute little tin. It's an adorable little coffee tin. Okay. We've got a little Cover. wooden box. Gummy. Grizzly. Oh my gosh, these are huge. Oh. Whoa. Things. Are these like the chocolate covered cherries? But it's a huckleberry? They might be. What does a huckleberry even look like? Like a blackberry? Maybe? I don't even know. There's so many different berries on the packaging. Somebody, somebody in comments, tell us what a huckleberry looks like. What's a <laughs> I should know this, but I feel I, like at 30 years of age, we should have come across the huckleberry once in our life. Never have. Huh, I'll try this though. They look like a blueberry, I guess. A blueberry? At least that's what one person says. Ooh, they taste good. I don't know how to describe the taste, but the flavor. It's huckleberry. I, I Yeah, I guess it's <laughs> huckleberry. I should have I said that. Yeah, I'm afraid oh. I'm gonna get chocolate on you, so you go away now. Okay, yeah, preserve the ride too. It looks like a cranberry, but grows on a bush. Cranberry, Here we go. but grows on a bush. That's a huckleberry, huh? Hmm. Oh, I guess we could have looked at the packaging here. Oh, that's yeah. probably what they look like, isn't it? You want to try hmm. some jalapeno chocolate? Uh, no, you can try Just that take one. Take a bite. Nope. Take nope. a bite. Take nope. a bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. Ugh. Do it for the fans. I do have a caribou drink. Jalapeno. Is it jalapeno and huckleberry? I think it's just jalapeno. Yeah, oh, just yep, jalapeno. jalapeno chocolate. I don't taste spicy. Oh. Oh, oh, there it is. Yep. It feels, oh. Oh, I can feel it in the back of my tongue. It takes a little bit. Mm. Not bad. Of course you don't. It's like spicy chocolate. Yeah, very spicy chocolate. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that is a pretty, there's a little bit of kick to the back yeah, of that. See, it took a little while. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Jalapeno chocolate. And Emily and her whole family thinks ketchup is spicy, so. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, okay, it might be a baby with spicy food. Just give him the spicy food. Here you go. Well, now I'm nervous to try anything you want this to This is a huckleberry thing. Okay, here. Yeah, I'll take the other one. Huckleberry gummy bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Mm. Who said this? It was a... Uh, that is Le Leilani. Thank you, Leilani, for everything Montana. Mm. Wow. I'm just going to associate Montana with spicy things, though, because I still taste that jalapeno just, in the back of my no, throat. No, huckleberry. Huckleberry. <laughs> I also Not like jalapeno. how they did, they did a Japan crate and then scratched Japan out. Yeah. Montana. Well, that was a taste of Montana. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I don't think we've ever tried Montana stuff before. Mm-hmm. Those Montana gummies were delicious. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing I think we've tried. Wow. All right, I have one more box over here. And then, do, don't we have a couple packages in the office? Yeah, okay. everybody's so worried about the fish uh, Rex funds. It's <laughs> hanging over. Oh no, it is hanging. It'll be fine. Yep. I'm gonna move this though. Yeah, move the breakable thing. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't, because that, even if it does fall, it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. This is from Anastasia in Tennessee. Oh, cool. All right. Oh, there's Swedish fish. Yes, tropical Swedish fish. These are delicious. Oh, and dark chocolate M and M's. Nice. Oh, nice sharing size. Like I'm gonna share yeah, right. that. I'll take these. Then I get all these. All right, I like Swedish fish. Huh. You already uh, said you get Anastasia that. Anastasia wanted me to have the I everything. Bet, I bet they didn't. Oh no, the oh. box is about to fall. Oh no! It won't fall. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, I think this is me with my ponytail. That's cute, Anastasia. Nice. Oh, and she also drew Rex and Cheyenne and Ed. Wow, I've seen some things. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> That's amazing. We put googly eyes on our Roomba recently. Yep. So if you look at the Twitch stream at night, like after we close, we set the Roomba. Her name is Ava. She's the hardest working employee here at Snake Discovery. Yep. She much harder. cruises Best. around. Hardest much work. hardest. She's the much hardest worker yes, she's at Snake Discovery. the much Discovery. hardest yes. worker. That's it. Uh, but she has big googly eyes now. It's great. Uh, <laughs> Anastasia. Also. What a good drawing of Mike. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Yes, that was Mike. <laughs> That's 
awesome. <laughs> so before you open that, yep. uh, this is from William from OKC, which we were just there. Uh, yep, we were just there. They they made us a doormat. Really? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> we were just saying that when is we... A, amazing. Wow. Now we have a doormat for our front door. That Should that be here though? Or should that be home? I think home? it should be home. Okay, is it okay if we use it at, at home, William? Because we were just talking about how we need a new doormat. Yep. Because we had one that was, it had an inappropriate word on it. It so wasn't I had appropriate. To, it wasn't appropriate. So that made it awkward at Halloween. And then we covered that one up with one that said doorbell broken, just yelled ding dong really loud. And then we had uh, Halloween and all the kids, we didn't get one doorbell. And all the kids were just like, ding dong. Everyone was just yelling ding dong instead of ringing the doorbell. So now we're like, okay, this one isn't going to work either. But that is incredible. So this is yeah. Come home and I'm going to go out the door because somebody just parked. Oh, someone just parked in the parking lot? Yep. Oh no, this is going to be awkward because we don't have a gate anymore either. They can walk right up to the doors. Yep. Well, we'll see what happens here. Yay, construction. Okay. That's such a cool mat, though. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to bring that home. Yeah. Thank you, William. And you. Oh, my gosh. Do you want to vamp for while I go get more packages from back? What does vamp mean? Like, just sit here and. Oh, you have stuff to open, don't you? Yeah, I can open. Vamp is like, just talk. Oh, yeah. I'm really good at just yeah, talking. Yeah, you're better than I am. <laughs> Do you want me to wait, though? Oh, yeah. He, you might want to say hi to him yeah. and just say that we're close. <laughs> sorry! Yeah, we're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. <laughs> I'm sorry! You may have to open yeah. the door. <laughs> okay, my name is Anastasia and I'm six years old. Oh, Anastasia! You're six and you drew this? This is awesome! I love to watch your show on YouTube. My favorite parts are opening fan mail when the eggs hatch and the little homes you make for them. I'm sending you guys some candy. Uh, money for Rex and Pokemon cards. I'm also sending some pictures that I have drawn, including a new monster named Bruno. There's a monster named Bruno in here? Is that, is that this? Because that looks kind of like Ed, but I can see that being a monster named Bruno, too. Let's see if we can find, ah, there's Bruno. That's awesome. This is great, Anastasia. <laughs> Thank you. And the question is, what's a good age to get a starter snake? You know, that kind of varies based on, or for each person. I, I think if someone has, is younger, but is very mature for their age and has done their research and knows what they're doing, maybe has some parents to help out too, um, you could get a snake at a younger uh, age than someone who is going to be taking care of it completely by themselves. So I would say, I mean, Anastasia, you're six. If you've done a lot of research and your parents are willing to help, I think now could, could be a good time for a starter, like a really hardy reptile, like a bearded dragon, or maybe a leopard gecko, even crested geckos. Those make great starter pets too. Um, but yeah, it really just depends on how prepared you are. But that's a great question. Hmm. So yeah, it just varies though, I suppose. But yeah, this is awesome. It's going to grab a couple more packages that were shipped directly to our facility. So they're actually in our office right now. So we're going to bring them up here and open those. Oh, that's my alarm to remind myself to turn on our freezer. Uh, yeah, I should probably turn that on. We had to turn it off because as it would charge, it makes a lot of noise. So don't let me forget to turn on the freezer at the end of the stream. I just realized I talked to a random person with a Badoof on my head. <laughs> you did answer with that on. <laughs> That's amazing. He's not going to take this business seriously. No. What did he say? He came up here from central Wisconsin and he wanted to come see the zoo, but Aww. we're closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Hopefully he can go back tomorrow. He said he had training tomorrow, unfortunately. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Okay. Shoot, I'm sorry. That's too bad that he missed it. Yeah. But hopefully he can drive through again yep. another time. Maybe one of these days. Okay. So it's your guys' job to when we're wrapping things up at the end of the stream, remind me to turn the free freezer on again. What'd you find? I found a dubia roach. Oh, free roach! Oh, it's alive too! That was in our office? Yeah, must have been. Um here. Okay, you don't get the roach. Where am I gonna put a live roach? In the roach bin down there. Oh, that's right. We sell roaches here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I think everything past this point is all sent to the shop. Yeah, I think so. And this is from the packing pros. The so packing I don't think it's pros. Actually from hmm. Okay. I have one from Magic Time. Cinderella. Uh, I can't tell who this is. Oh, there we go. This is from... Did oh. you say from Magic Time? 
It says magic time here. Ah. This is also from the Packing Pros. <gasps> it's from Cinderella. Yeah, mine's, mine's from Cinderella. Oh, mine was from a brown box. I think all, all of these are from the same person. Oh. Like this box and both of those. Maybe. So is there a theme here? I know we had a staff member look inside thinking it was a shipment of some products and then realized it was fan mail. So that's why they were already open. I didn't throw the box. I took the thing out of the box and threw the empty box off to the side. Yes. Somebody's like, why did I just throw the box? It was the empty box. It's okay. <laughs> I, have a, uh, I have a letter. I have an Umbreon box. Oh my gosh, you do have an Umbreon box. You should like lean that up so they can see. Wow. Okay. This is... Oh wait, that's this page two. Wow, that's a really pretty box. Let's see. Dear Emily and Ed, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's very well crafted too. Hope this finds you well. My son is, uh, start of COVID. Uh, I think he's watched us since the start of COVID and he's been hooked ever since. Love what you do to educate and dispel the creepy crawlies of our favorite noodles and fewer legged scaly boys. <laughs> Haven't been able to leave a, oh man, I'm hard at, er, okay, you might, I might need you want to read it. Yeah. Where are we at? Uh, second paragraph. Haven't been able to love a snake because, or have a snake, because a roommate is immune compromised, but now we've moved so eagerly, look, oh wait, so now we've moved so eagerly looking. We are thinking of being a proud mama to one of your blue beauties, but seeing as it's been a while since I've had one, I thought I'd uh, I thought it best to go with a gray banded king instead. Gray banded king, right? And get my dream beauty snake later. I'll just read the rest of them. Okay. Husband wants Jackson chameleon. Colony of emerald tree skinks. Oh, She's emerald tree skinks. Cool things. Probably watches Clint's reptiles. Yep. I know a lot of people who know of those lizards mm. have watched Clint's because yeah, he speaks so highly of them. Was that another roach? That's a dead roach. How did, how did dubia roaches get in here? Oh, and there's a letter in here, too. All right, let's see. While Ed read, just read that. I wonder if this is translation. This is from Sawyer, and there's a translation for what this says. <laughs> I see why. Are green tree pythons good beginner pets? Um, I don't know if I'd call green them... Green tree pythons? Yeah, I don't know if I'd call them good beginner pets, because you can't really hold them. They're kind of finicky. They're really just a look at only pet that needs certain heat and humidity requirements. So I wouldn't do oh. a green tree python. That could be maybe your second or third snake once you kind of get the, the hang of uh, taking care of snakes in general. But so yeah, that is a great question. And it's awesome that you're doing your research before getting one. I think that's that's great. You have sour candy. I have sour candy yeah. in here? Like Jar of peach and sherry preserves. Oh, that must be what this is. Peach and sherry preserves. Oh, wow. Hopefully it made it safely. So yeah, it didn't did. spill or anything. So this. Yeah, that totally made it safe. First off, the resin in here is glow in the dark. Oh. Yeah, so I'll have to play with that later. And then it's a card box. For? For like Pokemon cards. Uh, oh, You can oh. like separate them and stuff like oh that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. So yes, yeah, so these packages did, packages did come from the same person. Okay. Oh yeah. my goodness. Uh, that's so we can amazing. like take our holographics or our legendaries and we can like yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you, Elise. Who is this from? I think Elise on the um this is page two. Oh, okay. Is Elise. How nice. Uh, Elise and family. Oh, from Elise and Family. Yep. Thank you, Elise That's and Family. Awesome. And oh nice and some Hammond's chocolate bars. And Hammond's chocolate. Do you want pigs and taters? Do you want chicken and waffles or soda pop? Oh uh, well. I, guess I should show that to the Yeah, let's try the waffle one. Chicken and waffles? Chicken and waffle Hammond's chocolate bar. Those are weird flavors. Yeah. So what's in here is from her too? Uh, maybe. I'm thinking so. It's from the same, the packing pros. So I would, I would assume so. But yeah, we'll try. Should we split this? Sure. Eh. So this is chicken and waffle Hammond chocolate. Oh. Um. I could see waffle going well in chocolate. I don't know if chicken does though. I don't think chicken. It's not quite chicken. Oh, this is another card box. Oh, this is my card box. You get one too. Mm -hmm. I might put that one aside. Chicken and waffle chocolate. 
This is amazing. <laughs> that has not a good aftertaste. No, not a very good aftertaste. Not gonna lie. Wonder what Pokemon can engraved on your box. Is it Bidoof? Really? Oh my gosh, it's Bidoof. Yes. We can turn off the lights in here and see. I'm gonna hold my. I'm gonna charge mine if it's glow in the dark, and then we'll turn off the lights. I don't know if mine has. Mine doesn't have any. Uh, oh, does it? No. Oh, that's so cool, though. That ah. is amazing. Oh my gosh, the Bidoof box. Yes. The screen crashed. Oh no. Did it crash? Uh oh. Did it crash? Crash? That's fine on my on the iPad over no, here. No, so it's just the. Oh, I wonder if I hit the thing. Oh yeah, maybe you hit the blue cord. Maybe I hit the blue cord. Yeah, see, that's been an issue. We'll probably have to fix that before we go. Should we? Oh yeah, just push it in. And then see if that uh, fixes it. Ah, the blue cord. That's been causing issues these last ah, couple. Ah, the fact that if it wouldn't have been broken in the first place, we wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> let's let's uh, test this out. We're going to turn off the lights and see if it glows. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, not enough lights Here. go out. Here. Turn off the zoo. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. Dang, emergency lights. <laughs> All right, never mind. It doesn't get dark enough in here. Worth a try. I'm gonna try it at home though. Super cool. Thank you, Elise. These are really neat. Yeah, they are. Oh, mine probably has sour candy in it. Oh, sour, sour candy. Sour gummy French fries. Cool. She even put some. What in the world? Wait, yeah. Sour gummy French fries. You wanna try sour gummy French fries? Sure. Cheyenne got to try French wow. fries today. I'll try a sour gummy french fry. Do you want another, by the way? Oh yeah, mine completely went out. Do you want your french fry? French fry! Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, those are very chewy. No, they are. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go down here and see what's going on right. with this. Yeah, you are the IT guy, so that's perfect. Why do my nose fish? These remind me of the lemon candies. We called them monkey brains in elementary school. But I think they were like lemon heads. They were like, that big football shaped, kind of a powdery outside lemon treat that you sucked on. Delicious. These have the same flavor. They're just in a gummy format. Oh, okay. I think. Is that everything? No, nope, there's still stuff in the Oh, there's office. still over there. In the office? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that actually gives me time. That fixed Who's it. This? Oh, that fixed it? Yeah, I don't believe it. So I have to look and see what's going on the other. I think when this got broken, office stuff. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Ugh. Okay, that's good. Okay, so these are really good. They take a long time to chew, though. They're very lemony. Very lemony. No, yeah, they're tasty. Okay. So these... All right, we're back. I'm back on my computer anyway. <laughs> yeah, the stream. Can we take those in back? Sure, that'd be great. We'll grab more yeah. boxes. Okay, thank you. Oh, who uh, got this huge mess? <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a mess over there now. <laughs> what, Cheyenne? Have you been enjoying this so far? Let's see if I can find a question. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm shy. No, I don't want you on my shoulder right now. No, I'm sorry. Okay, what is the best starter reptile from Victor? That's a good question, too. That's another, like, subjective one for starter reptile. If you were thinking about getting a snake, I would highly recommend a corn snake or ball python, like the most people say uh, for beginner snakes. And there's good reason behind that, though. It's because they make really good pet snakes due to their docile temperaments. They're good eaters for the most part. Sometimes you get ball pythons that are picky, but for the most part, they're really good snakes, corn snakes and ball pythons. Um, for starter lizards, I would recommend leopard gecko, bearded dragon. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the starter reptiles are the ones that get surrendered to rescues because people get their first reptile, decide reptiles aren't right for them, and then they surrender it. So if you are looking to get a starter reptile, check out or check with a rescue and see if they have some that need homes because you could give it a second chance. We at, over at Adoption Island, which is just to the right of the camera, actually uh, have what looks like three ball pythons right now, a couple bearded dragons, and several leopard geckos. So yeah, all starter reptiles that just didn't work out in the previous homes. So yeah, check out rescues if you're interested in getting your, your first reptile. Okay, so. We'll be back again. You gotta be back again? Okay. I will start opening. This is from, ooh, No Name in Texas. All right, oh, and that fell. So, what is, for, oh my gosh. Oh, this is full of flowers. Oh, we can use these for baby bins. Is there, it's like just full of these. Is there a letter in here with a name of someone I can thank? I don't think there is. Oh, okay. Well, for whoever sent us a bag full of flowers, thank you for 
these. We have several babies right now that we can refurbish with some flowers. This would be great. Thank you. I don't want them to spill everywhere though. So we'll just set that right there and put those back in. Okay, great. Yeah, sorry you don't have a, a name to thank specifically, but hopefully you know who you are and thank you. Okay, this is from May in California. Let's see, it's actually opened a little bit too. This is, dear Emily and Ed, this is May. Hope, uh, hope to you all love May. Aw, aw, she drew a Burmese python. That's really cute. And she drew ooh, a rosy boa. That's a cool one. And a rainbow lizard, it looks like. And a desert tortoise. Those are really cute drawings. And there's also, oh, it's gonna love this. Gummy Creations Martian Mix. So yeah, gummies are right up your alley. So yep. these are gonna be for you. And it looks like she included for me a giant Kit Kat. Yes. Nice. Thank you, May. This is awesome. I love Kit Kats. Thank you so much. All oh, right. Present. Oh yeah, this was given to us, I think. Yeah, this was given to us in person. And I've been hanging on to it for the next live stream, which is right now. It's it's been a while since our last live stream. I can't remember exactly when this was dropped off, but now we finally get to open it. So let's see. This, uh, I can open up the ladder. Is that everything from the office? Yes. Okay. Everything oh. out of the office. Dear Emily and Ed, hi, I'm Kira. Me and my family love your videos. They even said we'd go to your zoo when it opens. I hope you like the snakes. It took me from 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. to make them. Aww. Well, there's a couple dollars for Rex's fish find. So, thank you. This is Kira. Kira, that's right. And I love how it's wrapped like a Christmas present. And that was really nice of you to drop it off here, even. Okay, what did Kira bring us? I love how you wrapped it. This is great. Ugh. I just have to open it now. Okay. Here, help me, Cheyenne. Help me. Rip off a piece. Rip off a piece. Get it. There you go. Keep tearing. Keep tearing. Eh, good girl. Ah, come on. Ah, okay. There's a really stubborn piece of tape. Oh, jeez. There. Perfect. That's all I need yeah. it for. And it worked. Okay. We have, ooh, a lot of foam. Oh. And the snakes that Kira made. Aww. Aww, I'm gonna take this out. Okay, they're very well packaged. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Look at that. It's from River. River. River also made a pendant out of their corn snake shed. Ooh, that pendant turned out great, River. They sent a oh, drawing. Shit. It's really pretty. Oh, nice. That is really pretty. And that's pretty. the chocolate. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you, River. I have chocolates for you. Ooh, yes, I will take all of the chocolates. <laughs> thank you. Here we've got, I'll decorate Cheyenne's stand with the snake. That's really cute. Uh, here's the other one. Nice, thank you, Kara, for the snakes. Actually, there's a couple more in here too. Take these out. Don't, you break it though. No, 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 okay. okay. Maybe I won't put it on Cheyenne's stand. They can chill next to the tortoise. So I don't want you to break it. Uh, no, I don't want you to break it. Okay, here we go. Here are the others, they can go right up front. These are cute. Nice, thank you, Kara. All right, I'm gonna set these down here. Perfect. Oh, I found another roach. There's another roach? Yeah. He's, uh, he hit as soon as uh -oh. I picked it up. Okay, good luck finding him. Yep. This is from Amanda in Kentucky. Oh, cool. My sister? Actually, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, different, different Amanda. Oh, uh, different Amanda. Different Amanda in Kentucky. His sister Amanda lives in Louisville. Okay, so. Did you find an Amanda at the Target in Kentucky, in Louisville. Louisville? Okay, in Louisville. Amanda. If you find an Amanda in Louisville, say hi to her. Blonde hair, uh, curly. curly hair. Uh, she works there. She's a Usually cashier Usually weekends there. and cashiers, so. Yes, say hi to her. Say hi um, to her. From Ed. Yep. She'll, she'll be so confused. That would be so, because I know she doesn't watch amazing. this, so. Yeah, she doesn't watch this, she has no idea. These are um, nail polish strips. I can put these on for like the next Deadly <laughs> Show. Oh my God, you're doxing your sister. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, Go for he it. is. <laughs> yes, please do it. Emily, my voice love your show and wanted to send you some goodies. Love Amanda. 
cool. Oh, she's actually a rep for Collar Street Nails. Okay, yeah, small business. I'll show it on the camera. These are actually really cool too. It's a snakeskin right. pattern. Oh. So you can like see it. That's a really neat pattern. And I like the color too. So yeah, support a small business. There you go. I'm gonna have to wear these for a tin, maybe March Tinley. There you go. I can do that. That's Colton really cute. sent you a sweet clay cobra. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice, even got the hood. Yeah, he also sent some uh, Cheyenne treats. Uh, yo dipped sunflower seeds and a chew stick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh wow, which one do we, do you want? Oh, I don't know which one to get you. Well, should we give her the really big treat? Oh, good. Let's do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Colton. Shan, look at this. Here, I'll put this on this? top of the box. Oh, that is actually too wobbly. There, everybody should be happy now. Nice. <laughs> oh, do you see this? You know what you have to do. Oh, bless you, good girl. Wow. Oh, she doesn't wow. even know what to do with it. <laughs> you can barely balance. Mmm. Is that good? What are you, are you just going to destroy it? Mmm. I would love if you kind of scoot it over a little bit so that would fall into the tray or on the floor. I guess that's cool too. Yeah, yeah. whatever. I'll open this one? Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is from uh, Lissy in Massachusetts. Or sorry, MS. Missouri? No, that's M-O. MS. Mm, shoot, I'm drawing a blank. What's MS? Oh, get up really quick. Thank you. Before, the fan, before everybody else oh, yeah, gets it. Yeah, gotta meet the fans, meet the fans. MS. MS, MS. Oh, who's Multiple gonna... sclerosis. Nope, nope, the, the state, the state. Quick, beat them. It is Mississippi. Mississippi, oh, duh, yeah. Ha, you beat the chat. Yeah, that's yeah. right, chat. <laughs> All right, so, is, is he? Oh, I forgot the name, Lissy. Lissy says... <laughs> Mississippi, Mississippi, Mississippi. <laughs> Ed just barely beat you guys. Just barely. That's only thanks to the delay. <laughs> so. Oh, Lissy sent these little... Oh, these are like homemade bats for the cave. Oh, that's cool. Oh, these are for the cave. Oh, cute. Maybe they can find a spot to put these. Is there a note in here too? Hi. Oh, there it is. Sending a few friends your way. A few months back, you mentioned you couldn't find any bats for your zoo, like fake bats to hang in the cave. I hope these can fit in for you. Feel free to modify the feet any way needed to hang them properly. Oh, Lizzie, thank you. I can't, did you, these must have taken forever to make. There's so many details on them too. We can like tuck them up into the, into yeah. the cave crevices and you can try to find them. Thank you. Yes, we can use these. Those are super cute. Okay, these can go down here too. We'll have to find a good spot for them in the cave. Oh, cute, so here it is. that's from uh, Fran's six-year-old son, Van. Van, aw. They sent a bunch of drawings. Yeah, cute. They sent you oh, a- Oh, look at all the snakes. A little feather bracelet. Aw. Cute, there's us. There that's not really, it wouldn't fit on my wrist. Oh, that will fit on my wrist. See if I can put that on. Actually, I might need your help to put it on. Okay. Here you go. I love all the drawings, Van. Van? Van. Van. Turn the page around. What is your favorite gecko? Thank you. Yep. What is your favorite turtle? Favorite turtle specifically is probably Taco, our soft shell turtle in the zoo, because he's so personable. Favorite gecko uh, in the zoo, I guess, I guess gecko species. Ooh, I really like Leechianus geckos. I like mossy. I do like leeches too, but mossies are sweet too. Yeah. Van also sent a bunch of Pokemon oh, cards. Nice. Thank you, Van. And then some chocolates oh, for you. Look at all these. Wow. A truffle milk chocolate truffle, or milk chocolate truffle bar. Wow. A dark chocolate with caramel and sea salt bar that's oh, coming that's, out of the package. Uh, out. Those are yours. Oh, nice. Thank you, Van. Some caramels and oh, some gosh. sea salt caramel bars. Wow. And then so I got beef jerky. Oh, you got turkey! And if John is watching this, John said we should start talking about beef jerky so we get beef jerky so he could have some beef jerky. Oh my gosh, no. But no, that's not how this works. He can come on Saturday. I'm going to be here Saturday. If he shows up on Saturday, I'll give him some of my beef jerky. If he, if he misses out on that, he doesn't get any. If you're watching this far into the stream, John, Ed might share this with you if you swing Aww. by on Saturday. And you got a little glass oh, turtle. Oh, that's really pretty. Turtle. Turtle. Your first word. Yep. Aw, that can go right up. Too. I'll tuck it back so it doesn't fall. There. Thank you, Van. These are really sweet gifts. Let's see. I'm going to open 
So I'm going to eat some beef jerky. You're eating beef jerky? Okay, sounds good. Should I open this one? I'm going to open this one because it's already kind of open. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. a box full of chala wood. Or oh, really? Choya wood, yeah. Is that, was that something that we bought and we just didn't? No, it looks like fan mail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Watch, it was supposed to be for oh, the bill. Oh, that's really good beef jerky. Is it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is really good beef jerky. Snake discovery. Oh, wow. That's a really good drawing. What's from... your favorite Bucky's treat? Favorite Bucky's treat? Mmm. It bounces back and forth between the chocolate covered raisins. I love those. And beaver nuggets, probably. So I'm pretty stoked to have these. We do get a lot of beaver nuggets though. Mm -hmm. We don't get the chocolate covered raisins very often. Wow, you are destroying that. Mmm. <laughs> I don't think you're eating much of it. Okay, so this is from Hannah. I'm gonna open up this card. This is a beautiful card right there. And it's like watercolor too, but very vibrant. Where are we gonna hang that? Wow. Okay. Tiny's here. Tiny's doing well. He got upgraded and stopped eating again, so. That's what Tiny does. We're trying to get him in an appropriately sized bin and then he refuses to eat. Uh, thank you for keeping me and so many others entertained with your impeccable reptile content. I've been watching your channel for years and it's been so much fun to watch your influence and audience grow. I hope your enclosure builders enjoy. Oh, this was for the build off. I thought Whoops. she wasn't able to find some. <laughs> oh, she did send some. Hannah, I, I thought you said you didn't send any Chala wood. Oh, well, is it okay if I save it for next year? We're planning on it being an annual event. Yeah. I moved from New Mexico last summer from South, Central South Dakota, and I know how unique and cool this kind of wood is. I can't wait to watch the video. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were sending me this for the build off. But yeah, we can just save this for next year because these are awesome, like aged pieces of Chala wood. And yeah, this will definitely be, you'll be one of the sponsors for the 2022 build off contest. So actually I might save all this together so that I don't forget that it's from you. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll just hang on to it till next year. So yeah, we actually have a couple other sponsors already on board for next year's build off. So cool. it should be another fun event, but you are officially the first one providing something for the build off this way. Sweet. Okay, I'll set this over here. That's Thank you. Fair. Thank you, Nana. So, who is this from? Monica from Illinois went to Arizona and found a bunch of sweet animals. I don't think I don't think that one's from Montana. A fox snake? That's a fox snake. Yeah. But they went to a, found a green anaconda. Like at a zoo. At a zoo. That one is okay. a zoo. Okay. They found a uh, scorpion. That was in the wild. Okay. They found a diamondback. That oh. one was also in the wild. Nice. What do you think the last one was that they found? We looked for this and didn't find it. Did they find a Gila monster? They found, they found a, a Gila monster. monster in the wild. Oh, we tried so Luckies. hard. Uh, Don't mess with them in Arizona, though. They're very protected. They're in very, Arizona. very protected. Yes. Wow, sure. that's a lot of stuff that Monica sent us. Oh, oh, there's a Charmander in there. Aww. There's a Charmander. Oh, that's really cute. Holy cow, there's a bunch in there. This is from Monica, you said? Yes. Okay. There you go. Have the Wisconsin wild cards. How have I not known about these? Living in Wisconsin, you think we'd know about Wisconsin wild cards? These are from the. Wisconsin DNR and everything. We got oh. McDonald's Pokemon playing cards. Oh, cool. Nice. I wonder if they rolled that out recently. Whoa. Wisconsin wild cards, like just for all the wildlife. It's like you can collect them. And it has information on them in the back. It's a sweet Greninja pin. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Here's some milk chocolate, oh. you and me. Oh, you got here, I'll trade. I like dark chocolate more than you do. <laughs> okay, I'll eat any chocolate. Uh, sweet! Giant Pokemon cards. Oh All my right. gosh. Uh, Abrion? Mega Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza, ooh. And the Charizard. Nice. They're both very loved cards. Yeah, a lot of love in those. <laughs> what else should I show off? I'll start opening. We have just these three packages left. One more. Oh, four packages left. Whoa, is that a blanket? Oh my gosh. That is sweet. It's a Pokemon blanket. That is amazing. Yes. Is that open? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wow. <sighs> Gonna this have a cape? Be my cape. Okay, you'll have a cape. That's to awesome, match my Monica. <laughs> You're gonna turn into a superhero here pretty soon. Like, Pokemon man. Okay, I have to find 
find a crease in this. I have a package from Brindley and Kalia in Washington. If I can figure out how to open it. I don't quite know how this box works. We'll get there though. It's okay. Well, maybe if I if I can. More yeah, they sent a ton of stuff. They sent a finger. Oh. <laughs> Why is there a finger in there? No, that's creepy. Let me no, pick your nose. No. Let me pick your nose. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure why. Really? A fake finger just to freak us out? Yep. Okay, man. Take the finger. All right. Let's see if I can open this box. Ah, Brindley, you put so much tape on <laughs> here. That's awesome. Keep calm. It's just a gator. <laughs> yes. From the Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. Cool. Apparently that's where they found the giant uh, anaconda. Finger? Oh, okay. <laughs> Not giant finger. <laughs> See if I can find any. Monica did a clay of a bunch of snakes coming out of eggs. Very Some... cool. Melissa says somebody needs to draw you dressed like that. <laughs> there you go. That's the pose. <laughs> and a bunch of Pokemon card packs. Oh, cool. Wow. That was so nice of them. Yeah, thank you, Monica. Oh. This is from Kalia. Uh, I wish I could come, but we live in Spokane. Um, someday we will come in about two years. I'm seven, Washington, uh, and I'm seven, and my sister is five. I wish I could be there. I am a fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think they're trying to hint that we need to eat healthier. Sending <laughs> Nature Valley bars. These are what? delicious. Why would we eat that when we can eat this? Yeah, when there's chocolate around. Yeah, thank you. If we feel like having a healthy streak, I suppose we will. Those are those are pretty good. But here's oh, mangoes, dried mangoes. Wait, are these expired? When was this sent? Sometimes Best before January thirtieth, twenty twenty one. Might might not be able to. But this was in the office. This wasn't that long ago. Weird. I wonder if this is a who knows. Oh, there's more more Nature Valley bars. I mean, sometimes people send us just expired stuff. I've learned. That's true. Sometimes it just arrives expired. Oh, but she drew Allie. Aw, cute. Allie and who else did she draw? I am Brinley. I'm your greatest fan. We might buy an egg eating snake from you. Can we buy a decayed brown snake from you? If we were breeding them, sure. They're not quite old enough to breed, but I love your artwork there. Cute. Thank you, Brinley. And Kalia, I'm gonna set this. Ready for this this thing from BT Kyoko? Yeah. Bam! Oh my gosh! It's gonna be right set up. Bam! Whoa! That's really cool. That's beautiful. Are there two prints of it? Yeah, two prints. Wow! Who did this? Uh, BT or BT Kyoko. I'll just. Wow! Show yeah, it. you should show their, their card. card. Oh! Oh my gosh! That looks like a picture, but it's it's definitely a painting. Maybe it's a painting on top of a picture. I don't know, but that's gorgeous. You should hold this up to the camera too, since you're over there. It's a Cheyenne. Oops. It's a portrait of Cheyenne. Aww. Back when she had a few feathers on her chest. Yeah. Aww. Now she wears sweaters. Now you just wear sweaters to cover up your nakedness. Look at you. It really does. I love the color, like the splash backgrounds too. Wow, Cheyenne's not sure what to think. Holy cow. Thank you. BT Kyoko? Yep. Wow. We're gonna have to find a place to put these. I'm gonna put them back in the tube because I don't want them to get like damaged or anything. Makes sense. Oh, the last one's an Amazon box. Here you go. Ooh, last, last box. Last box. 30. That's not too bad. Only two and a half hours. Yeah. Let's see. We're gonna put this in here. Okay, so those are protected. Yes. Okay. Last box. Ooh. Okay. Anyone remember when Ed uses? Uses what? When Ed uses what? Just said when Ed uses. Did yeah. I used to use something? Did you used to use something? I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure. Is there a gift? Oh, here's I'm gonna read the gift slip first. That's just what's in there. Never mind, that's not that's not a note or anything. What is this? Note yeah, there are a couple notes. Those. Okay, the notes say that doesn't say there anything. It is. Thought Allie could use this in her corner of the office. P.S. You won't offend us if she needs a larger size. Love, little Louie from the Sarandria family. They're Patreon backers. Aww. Little Louie. Okay, Louie, what did you send for Allie? Oh no, I'm gonna need 
scissors, maybe? I don't know. What is this? Yeah, this shouldn't be able to cut into it. Yeah, I don't want to use the, the machete on this. I figure that might not be use a this. good idea. That'll work. Maybe? Yeah, that works. Yeah, I don't like know what packaging is part of the item. Oh, it is like a, a fabric. Okay. Eh, just in another bag. Alright. We've got this almost there. We do have a chameleon in the zoo. We do, yes. We have a panther chameleon in the zoo. He eats roaches from people's hands. Yep, he's a good boy. He is. He's grumpy. Like all chameleons, though. Like all old men. Uh, oh, it's like all shrink wrap. Do you want to go grab Allie? Sure, I can go grab Allie. Okay, we'll see. It is a dog bed! Oh, Cute! Oh my gosh, is this a corner dog bed too? I think it might be. Oh my gosh. So when she's curled up, she can just curl up into this guy. Oh, it's actually going to go grab Allie so that we can put her in here. But the Serendria family, and Louie specifically, thank you for this quarter bed. That's really, that's going to work out great because she'll curl up. She'll fit in here just fine, so this will actually work out perfectly. And now we can take her out and have a good spot for her in the office because so far we've just kind of been leaving her in the zoo enclosure since we feel like she's comfiest in there. But if she has a bed, she would totally curl up in this. Ellie, you got to come over and say hi to everyone. She's sleepy. Is she sleepy? Yeah. Oh, here. Why don't you try out this bed? It's from Louie. Here you go. Ah, oh, she is sleepy. She's like not moving much. Here, we'll curl you up. There. Allie can sit right there uh, for everybody to see, hopefully. Hopefully you can see her in there. Kinda. And she's not gonna move. <laughs> All right, well, Allie approves, I think. <laughs> she's not moving at all. We should have had her out in this uh, earlier. She could have just slept throughout the whole stream. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do next time we do a stream. We'll bring this bed out and Allie will just chill with us. Allie will just sit there. Yeah, we can set her up on the on the counter just sleeping the whole time because that's what Allie does. Oh, she's got her eyes closed too. Allie, here, you want to say hi to people at least before you fall asleep? <laughs> no, no, I'm sleepy. Yeah. Why are you so sleepy? Well, it's, it's like 530. Late. Yeah, it's getting close. You had the day off today, though. Yeah, we weren't open. There, you can just, you can just fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that's all the packages, isn't it? I think it is. We made it through quite a few packages today. You dressed up quite a bit. And I am now king of the Pokemon. <laughs> Bidoof king? Yep. Or just Pokemon in general? Just Pokemon. Okay, nice. I've got my Bucky's shirt, which is awesome and fits perfectly. And Cheyenne got a ton of treats, and we got a ton of treats. And wow, there's a lot here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you everybody so much yet again for all of these amazing gifts. What'd you just do? Just, just took it off. Took, okay, getting hot. Yep. Thanks. Okay, I'll be Pokemon <laughs> Master for the last little bit here. But no, seriously guys, thank you for sending us uh, all of oh. this. You are all way too generous and thoughtful. This Bidoof is a lot sweatier than it was earlier. <laughs> I bet it is. Just like your unicorn onesie was oh sweaty gosh. after Tinley. That was gross sweaty. Yeah, it was like wet after Tinley. <laughs> um, I think we have to turn the freezer on. Everybody's saying oh, freezer. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, we have to turn I'm the gonna freezer hit on. That. You're going to do that? Okay. Yeah. Then we can explain thank why you. we didn't have it on the entire time. I kind of mentioned it earlier. Oh, I can. Yeah, so when Ed turns it on, you'll hear why we had to turn it off before the stream. Thank you for reminding us. Okay, he's turning it on just Oops, now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that'll kick on here pretty soon, and you'll definitely hear it when it turns on. Yeah. But thank you so much for reminding me. And actually, we're going to give after this stream, uh, we're going to uh, give Rex her new baby Jolly Ball, uh, and so you can go over to the Twitch stream, which is live right now, and you can uh, watch us give that to Rex. Just search for Snake Discovery. Yep, just search Snake Discovery, all one word. It's a 24-hour stream. We have to refresh it every 48 hours, so yep. well, hopefully we'll be able to do that from Costa Rica, but we'll see how that goes. Nice. Thank you to our Patreon backers, and anything else we have to... I don't think so. It's crazy the freezer hasn't turned on yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Why hasn't that turned on yet? I mean, it's on, and it says it's 32 degrees. Huh. Well... But hey, whatever. Maybe everybody won't know why it's we turned it off. Yeah, weird. 
Who knows? Well, it's a loud freezer. Yep. I guess I'll just leave it at that. So we have to turn it off whenever we're filming up here. And uh, yeah, otherwise you can't hear myself <laughs> very well. <laughs> thank you guys so. so much for watching and thank you for all of the support. We're gonna have chocolate for weeks and coffee for weeks. And should we go give Rex her jolly yep. bell? Tune into the Twitch channel in about five minutes. This is gonna get thrown in there. I don't think she's gonna do anything. She's kind of sulking because it's cold in her pool. Yeah. But we'll throw it in, see what she has to do with it. She might not do anything. Or she might beg for food. I don't know. Who knows what's gonna happen? It's Rex. You never <laughs> know. Rex. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you next time. I don't. There it is. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>